in doubt. Okay. Is it? Oh, I, I don't actually. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I just don't know. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's working. <coughs> Shall we try to find out? Shall we erase ever dating Hugo and Damien? There's so many. Go back. There's so many saves. Oh, what it's after this? Amanda crying. That's right. This so dad book? Dad book is... Yeah, dad book, because that's when we get it and we start dating people. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Peanut. Hey, Maxie. So what are we doing then? We're deleting everything after? No. Yeah. It, like, we should load... We're deleting Hugo date one. We're deleting... Jamie and date one. But don't we want to do those dates and then load them again? Oh. Are we going to do date You're three? low volume wise. No, we're doing date three for Robert. Here, do you want to turn up the volume or how do you want to do that? I'll turn it up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> it's really low. Oh. You fucked it up. See? Look. I'm not even breaking the, the little green bar. I'm I wonder golden. if this will let me do this. Oh, that's weird. It's it's double. It's multiplying it. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we delete dates, does anybody know if we even need to in the first place because uh, the, the, we are going to delete dates for two reasons. One, because someone said you could only go on like six dates or something like that, or like eight dates. And if that's the case, that means we can't do two dates with all the dads. But if that's not the case, then I don't mind still dating them. We would just <clears throat> reload to the date before and then do the dates that we didn't do and that way we still have these saves so that when we do date three on each of them. Oh! You get it? That makes way more sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just keep all the dates. We only needed to see where the Amanda crying was. one was. <clears throat> Why? Because that's, that's the one, that's the very first date that we did, right? Or no, Robert date was the first one that we did. Oh, okay. I, I don't think we need to delete any dates. I just remember someone saying that it might be possible that you weren't able to date everybody the two dates and I just wanted to but you're right if it does say no you can't date any more people and it goes into an ending we'll just reload and see what the ending is if we just date around yeah if yeah. we're just like a sassy date around a dad sassy boy hey black tiger <clears throat> all right so should we date Matt or Craig first so we're just loading the most recent one. Let's just going... load the most recent. Let's just load the most recent one. And right. then just date from there. What do you think? That's fine. We haven't played this in a little Welcome. while. You've got it's been 15 days. Two weeks. <laughs> I know. It's been a long time without the daddies. Who do you want to date? Matt or Craig? Um, let's do Matt. Okay. I love Matt. Oh. We could date Craig. Oh, yeah. Let's date Craig. Oh, that's true, Peanut. Good call. <clears throat> Dad of three, business entrepreneur, and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, you are most likely to... We've already read this. Oh, did I? Remember, we went through all of their profiles? Whatever. Did you... I love that he loves did you Buddy... Forget? Yeah. Do you need a refresher on Craig? I don't Craig Con. I don't remember our daddy. I'm a beer pong world champion. He Did you loves, know that? He loves buddy Did cops. Did you know that? Yes. Go. I've ran a mile in less than six minutes. I'm pretty good. I've ran a six minute mile before. My miles were like ten minutes. Like six to seven. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> then why are you bragging? <laughs> Getting it in while I still can. I'm just saying, Craig. I thought that said an extra lube. Same. Me! My mile time used to be so good. What happened? Oh, my God. Have I peaked? I'm Craig. What are these? Can we click this? No, that's how many dates you've been I, on. I know, but why are click they... Click it. Oh, never mind. It's just how many dates they you've just, been on. They just... Get bigger, I guess. <laughs> Message you, Craig. Because we've been, we're old college bros. I think that's really cute. I don't know how I feel about Dad Tip 69 being, you can cry. It's okay. 
But you can. It's all right. Jimbo Paul's going to get Jimbo swole. <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. <clears throat> hey, bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. <clears throat> we exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. We love the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Hey, Jose, welcome back from Mexico. Um, not much. We just started dating Craig. Yep. <clears throat> I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Um, I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I kind of forgot what my voice was for Jimbo Paul, but I think it was that. <laughs> oh, would you like to say what the wine glass is? There is no wine glass. On, on the screen. <laughs> this one. Which one? This one. How come I can't see it? Because your eyes are bad. <laughs> no, I can I can see it there, but it's I not know, on the. It's not in the game. It's an overlay on the stream. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, you're, you're very smart. So today, I we were offered a Twitch affiliate ship. It was a very which, very professional. I don't very. I don't really know what it means, I <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> and Melissa's like, did you know that you could put like a wine glass for Mary on there? And I was like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when Mary's there, we'll be supporting her. We're supporting Mary with a wine glass. A wine glass. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Back to Jimbo. Okay, I'm ready. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Eh? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. Oh, what kind of goals? Oh, it's just this wine glass. <laughs> <clears throat> I take a closer look at her collage. I enjoy her sense of lighting. Yeah. I it... like it when people turn out, like, all the lights and they just have, like, little lights hanging. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's the glass for bits and cheer, right? Yeah, yeah. You can do the the twitch bits. You, can do <laughs> you want a little. Twitch. You want a little little bit. Twitch. A little. You want a little little bit. A little twitch bit. Oh. Just the just the tip of my twitch bit. Oh no! Just the just a little tip. Just the tip. Just a tiny one. <laughs> Not the whole thing, silly. <laughs> we don't have enough lube for that. Just the tip only. <laughs> Did you already read I, that we're taking a closer look at her collage? I, yes, we're taking a closer look at her collage. All right. That's a lot of dogs. She's a lesbian. <laughs> it's official. She's joined it's, WAG. It is. <laughs> She's going to walk dogs. She's, she has joined WAG. <laughs> She's, She's just going to do collages of dogs. <laughs> ah. It's mostly dogs. Yeah. Uh, did you need something? Mostly dogs. Oh. Mm. What else is on there? Oh it's just dogs and pictures of Karen Gillan. <laughs> Amanda. <clears throat> Craig invited us to a softball game. Want to go? <clears throat> Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit the ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? Oh, she's so sad looking. She really didn't appreciate. Does she have like gold eyes? Yeah, they're like amber. Whoa. And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. Oh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, does that mean you don't want to go? I know, poor softball skills gotta step up your lesbian game, Amanda. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye. Determined. Ooh. Dad. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Whoa. Look at Amanda's ready to become a lesbian. She is. She's just like, I... Let's go play some softball. I made a collage of dogs, <laughs> and we're going to a softball game. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Melissa, did you ever play softball? I did play softball. And? I think everyone in this apartment. <laughs> Mariah. Wait, Mariah didn't. No, she didn't. What? <laughs> I, she played Little League, but not softball. You played baseball, not softball. Yeah, because I was fucking pro. I actually played baseball and softball. I did one year of softball. Yeah? I, I only did one year, and I was really bad at throwing the ball. God. Like, if I threw it, it would be like an arc. Like a really big arc. I was so bad at throwing the ball, but I could catch it. I could catch it really well. I could catch the ball. <laughs> I could catch balls. No, I was I was good enough at, at catching it that I was first baseman. Wow. I was pretty good. Okay. Pra <laughs> Softball wasn't gay enough for Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah had to do horse riding. <laughs> I played shortstop and third base. You know, the cool positions. First baseman is cool. First base is lame. <laughs> you probably also played right field. I didn't actually. It was Lies. mostly first base. First base is basically right field. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a both. little it's bit. It's both. It's not both. It's like it's you don't like, know what you're talking no, about. It's, it's no. It's like it's like if the first baseman misses it, then the right field catches it. Please don't talk to me about <laughs> sports right now. Just continue. Just go. <laughs> I know everything about cool positions, Tiger. <laughs> Melissa can catch a ball, but not the Zarya's kid. <laughs> First base is where they stick the players they don't trust. <laughs> <clears throat> Amanda and I make the short drive to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats in the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. This image of the field feels like the artist that drew it hated it. It just gives off this energy that it was annoying to draw. Oh, it definitely does, because it kind of barely looks like a softball field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to draw all these seats. Softball is baseball with a bigger ball, and they pitch it underhand, and there's not a pitcher's mound, and it's gay. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa! Shit. Did you see Amanda? Yeah. So when did the kids start crying and running off the field? <clears throat> you know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Does she have gay panic? She does. She's not sure yet. She's we scared. Have to show her. She's scared to Craig, embrace her Craig, softball. Show her. her. Show her her softball heritage. <laughs> Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of kids fighting for my amusement. Huh. Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Is this your softball team, Melissa? <laughs> You never know. <laughs> I'm that With pancake. Your fucking pancakes. Me as a pancake. Go McDonald's hotcakes. <laughs> yes, I love hotcakes. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite. Okay. It's my favorite. <laughs> Just go. Flapjacks. Re oh my god, flapjacks. <laughs> oh my Good god. Good call, Peanut. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay flapjacks against the Pinewood ocelots. Go flapjacks. Oh, man. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. And inside the pancake costume was Max <laughs> Caulfield. My name is Max Caulfield. I go to Blackwell Academy. I'm 18 years old, and I go to Blackwell <laughs> Academy. 
What a boy. What's he doing? He's chewing on his foot. Go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! Oh, look at her. She's using that gay terminology. Mm. Oh, yes. Go. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. Ooh. But yelling is fun. Oh, one step closer. Yes. <laughs> Give it a shot. It's cathartic. <gasps> Ooh. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> <laughs> You have the last one's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it all out on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're gonna have to bleed for it. <laughs> Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't gonna bring Miranda to D1. Maybe D2. E3. Shut up. <laughs> Go. <sighs> Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. Do we need to save and go back so Craig loves us? Let's hit next. Oh, we want. All right, we're good. We're good. We watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Uh, okay, they're children. Why would they be ready for the major leagues? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, they're not any professionals. I Let's... mean, like, they're they're kids. Like, you're going to watch it and be like, oh, man, these kids fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, we get it. We get it, Miranda. <laughs> Keg Stan Craig is good with children? Whoa, that's like a huge plus. If you're good with kids, that's like, ooh, zaddy. Mm. Craig is the man for that. Huh? It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out in the center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> what? See, it's a completely justifiable fear. The one time I got really hurt in softball, it wasn't because of a softball. It was because I was in the dugout and there's this big pipe sticking out of oh the ground. Oh my god. And I literally tripped on it and fell head like face first into the concrete. I almost blacked out. Like, You're such a loser. I probably did brain damage. <laughs> That explains a lot, actually. <laughs> that explains so much. It was it was rough. It was rough. I was like, Lazaria's skin is like weak. Girl, fall on ground. <laughs> you do not deserve skin of champion. <laughs> Go. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Aw, what a good boy. Mm. Hey, Solar. I probably did brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're so fucking lame. <sighs> Go. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit, and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The, op the, the ocelots seem to have given up by this point. <clears throat> I see one outfielder eating a fistful of grass. Mariah was telling me that when she played Little League... She would just stand in the outfield and, like, just pick grass and, like, look at the sky because her ADD was too much for her to handle. Did you ever make those braces? Like, did you ever, like, in in our fields at school, we would have, like, these tiny little white flowers. And oh, did you ever the do little the clovers? Yeah, like, we would we would pick them and then, like, like, make a little hole in the middle of the stem. 
and you put another flower through it so you can make like a flower bracelet, like a chain. No, because I wasn't lame. I it was, was playing, cool. I was playing kickball with all the cool kids. It was cool. That is not. You make cool. a little hole in the stem, and then you then you pick another one, and then you put it through. Mm-hmm. And it was cute. It was like a little it's a little flower bracelet. No, Mariah, you token up in there. <laughs> <laughs> is that grass? <laughs> But no, I played kickball. Or tetherball. Do you remember tetherball? Yeah. Tetherball was, tether tether was the shit. Yeah. Also dodgeball. I'm on drag I patrol. I didn't like dodgeball because I didn't move fast. Or, and I couldn't throw. So I was just, would get hit, and then I would just be out. That's so I just perfect. wanted to get hit so I, I could be out. I would have been the kid that would have, like, hit you in the face, like, in a slow-mo movie. <laughs> Like, like, you know how you have, like, the one kid and they throw the ball and it, like, hits you in the face? <laughs> and, like, it does, like, a slow-mo and your, your skin, like, and your cheeks, like, go, like, they flop out. <laughs> that's what it would be. Whoa, that's pretty intense, Peanut. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Same, Kayo. Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is me. Jimbo, it was hit by like a fucking 10 year old. I'm, Catch the I'm, ball. I'm Jimbo. You are Jimbo. Oh my god, he doesn't even try to catch it! No! He's, he's so scared. lame! You, you, have, you don't understand being afraid of a ball. It's terrifying. Okay. It's a scary, scary boy. It's not that scary. If you catch it, you can just not. But you don't have the reflexes in the moment if you're if you're scared of it. It's a fly foul ball. It come toward it. You have you, the. Are you telling me you've never had a fear of like when you would be at a softball game or a baseball game of a foul ball coming and like hitting you in the head? No, I, I brought had my, that all the time. How do you have? I brought my glove and I would try to catch him. No, dude. Like when my when my sister was playing softball, I would get really nervous. God, you're such a loser. I listen. I wasn't in the stands. I was actually playing, so I was kind of a cool kid. Were you though? Yes. Were you? Yes. I failed out of music. <laughs> Mrs. Andrews wouldn't let me pursue my xylophone. Your real dream. My real dream to become a professional xylophone artist. So I turned to sports. <laughs> it was the cowbell of your strength. It was the cowbell of my strength. I was so good at it. Continue. Aww. Poor puppers. No, oh, don't let him play with that. I wasn't going to. Here. Yeah. This is my Pokemon ball. E. <laughs> Jimbo I can't believe Jimbo Paul died. <laughs> I can't believe he's dead. No. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda hold Oh my god, Amanda's lesbian reflexes have come. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda. It only took a traumatic event. <laughs> Her mutant powers were revealed. Amanda, have you tried not being a lesbian? <laughs> I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Oh my god. Look at her go. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I caught the ball. Yeah, she's realizing. She, she's transforming. Do you know when Rey, spoilers for Star Wars, The Force Awakens, but do you remember when Rey reaches out and the fucking lightsaber just goes to her and she's like, Vroom. that's what just happened. <laughs> Go. Oh. You saved me. I caught the ball, Dad. I caught the ball. Oh, no. Now she's excited. Look at how much she's power. She's excited about it. She's discovered. Now she can go home. She can build, like, eight Ikea furniture. <laughs> she can drive a U-Haul now. She's going to go walk five dogs. She can walk, like, eight dogs. <laughs> and then go cock a bathtub. <laughs> spot you did it amanda i faced my fears i defeated the softball i can do anything oh, oh my god too much power. She, she did <laughs> too much confidence she can do it 
Look at her. She's, she's she's turned into Mariah. She has. She's gone full Mariah. She's leveling up. It's like when when like you're evolving like an Eevee. Yeah. And there's a choice of like 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 the fairy yeah, one or the, the or fairy like, one or Vaporeon the, or yeah, Vapion or the and other stuff. ones. And like she went straight for the Mariah. She did. She did. Mariah Origins 20. <laughs> Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. They don't. No, they, they don't. don't uh, they don't know what happened. I can be gay. <laughs> she has ascended to a higher plane of gay. <laughs> this is why her relationship with the Emmas didn't work. She wasn't awakened. <laughs> I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit, we sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Hmm. Great job, everyone! We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man! Oh. The game ends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, we've been working hard all season and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Whoa! Oh. Are you witnessing Craig's is... tiny gay daughters? Hey, this is a lot. This is a lot. Like, the softball game has brought this, exactly... Look at, this, look at this image. Look at... All of it. Of his... Look at this whole image. Cursed image. <laughs> Cursed... Blessed image. Blessed image. <laughs> look at... They're adorable baseball twins. <laughs> I cannot look at how sassy they are. Look at how much confidence. It's there's a lot. Look at River there's smiling. There's a lot going on. I love them. This is blessed. <laughs> hey, killer playing out there. Hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. But which one's which? You guys are twins, huh? So which of you is the evil one? Hazel. This one. Oh, yeah. She looks like the evil Ooh. one. No, they're switching. They're pretending they're to be each other. Ooh. Maybe? No. Maybe. She's, a, she's actually like, no, I'm not the evil one. Yeah, it's me. Huh. Good looking out. Yeah. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. <laughs> Staring contest with the baby who will win Jimbo or River. <laughs> He gave up his eyelids for fashion. <laughs> yeah, I take all of her math tests. Oh, there's a nerdy twin and a bad boy twin. <laughs> and I usually throw rocks at stuff when people get mad, and I tell them I'm Briar. Whoa. Whoa. She's going to be the perfect sister oh, for Amanda. My. This This whole game loves throwing rocks. They do. Don't throw too many rocks. What? Hmm. We will talk about this later. Who you the oh. love first? Drop it. Oh, good boy. These kids are gonna slay in high school. <laughs> Hazel is the bad little boy scout. Oh my god, this is amazing. Jimbo Paul, bro. Um, so I determined that Craig would canonly call Jimbo Paul, Jim Bro Paul. Uh, I need you to go and trip on a pipe and fall uh, on the concrete. I'm not you. <laughs> I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Hazel even wears her hat backwards and her uniform unbuttoned like a bad girl. Oh my. Look at her. Oh. She's so fierce. She's so cool. Look, she even has like that crooked kind of like smile. Yeah. Sounds good. You'd be Briar. I'd be Hazel. Actually, Mariah would be Hazel. I'd be River. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. I'm the kid eating grass. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> it's not gay if the lights are off, Janet. Jimbo. Whoa. <clears throat> not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. 
Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense! The girls won! What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? <laughs> she lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Capitalize! Jan! Jan! Sure, Jan. Hmm. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course, whatever you want, Craig. I guess we can have this creepy eyelidless freak join us at the local pizza parlor, Fuddruckers. Oh, don't mind my business, but let me just say, I just don't trust him. <laughs> Craig, can I see your dick? <laughs> Craig. All right. <laughs> <sighs> Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? <clears throat> oh, look at River's Spit Bubble. Oh. That's really cute. What? Ah. It's literally Janet Greenbrier. What? It's a real place. Oh, the spit bubble grew. Oh. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Oh my god. They are the sausage sweats because you can see his sausage so mm. clearly. Craig probably has like the dick outline. Like you know, yeah, you know yeah. when when they wear when they wear sweats? Yeah. Yeah. Go. You, you go. Oh, reminds me of all the awful pizza we put in our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Leave room for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Uh, pizzacos. I could never forget. How did we survive college? <laughs> Remember spaghetti tacos? Oh, those From are the really hit good. children's TV show, iCarly. <laughs> we tried them and they're actually amazing. I didn't think, didn't, didn't I try it on stream? I don't remember. Like the first time I ever tried it was during one of our streams. I don't. you guys made it. I don't remember. And I really liked it. I it don't remember. Good. Remember how I put my dick in the pizza box that one time and you ate it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside us. Whoa. Whoa, Craig. You're so wise. The arcade and the toilet is this way. <laughs> Just shit on the pinball. Just go. The good old days. I, Carly, like, wasn't gay, but Sam and Carly were pretty gay. Yeah, it was like that they're gay, but, like, obviously the show doesn't say. Yeah, like, it, I, remember, act, I remember like, watching it and being like, they're kind of gay. Yeah. I do that with everything, though. Yeah. So maybe it was just me. <laughs> <clears throat> the good old days. The kids run around, playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Oh. Hey, give me a pizza, that. What? No, do you get it? Give me a pizza, that. Oh, God. <laughs> I love that you read it straight. Give me a pizza, that. I thought it was a typo. <laughs> or, or like, he, no. like, like it was... Like thought misspelled. <laughs> give me a pizza, you thought. Give me, a, give me a pizza. Oh, oh God. Oh. Hey, give me a pizza. That. Uh, I got it, Craig. Shut up. <laughs> hey. Jesus. No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's me. I'm Amanda. You are. 
Oh my god, River is not happy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Oh my god, Craig. Craig, it's okay. You can have a little pizza. Have a little fun. Yeah, your Maybe body. A little bit. Your temple of a body can have one slice, surely, Craig. Mm -hmm. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Hmm. Dad. <laughs> A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we aren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. All the moms sound the same. All right, all right. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Huh? Well, I'm happy to look out after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own, you know. It's been so hard since Daniel left. Hard like your abs. <laughs> hard like possibly other parts of you, Craig. <laughs> I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, so the wine glass is we were offered like a Twitch affiliate ship thing, and then uh, the wine glass is for like bits and emojis. Yeah, the, the Twitch, the Twitch bits and Twitch, cheers. Twitch bits and chairs. Yeah, we put a wine glass for Mary. Yeah, we put a wine glass for Mary. <laughs> it's been oh, we did that already. <clears throat> Did you? A strong male role model? Yes, I I did. <laughs> oh, I love Magic Mommy. Twitchy bits. Just... Oh, bless you. Just the tip. Just a little tip. Oh, you're the boy. Oh, I love this dog. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it all... Oh, Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Mmm. Ooh. Every angle. Oh my. Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh, what a shy boy. Oh, I don't, no, no, I don't uh, get it from every angle. I'm just such a hot, fuckable dilf. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What am I gonna do with all this PTA pussy? <laughs> no, Jimbo, you better jump on this. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone. My bone. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Shut up, Melissa. <laughs> I should throw him a bone here. River is not pleased no with you. she's not she's like mm -mm, okay come on move along <laughs> oh tag team with Amanda tag team I give Amanda another knowing look and she hits me back with a nod she understands oh Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes uh. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie. You're not gonna projectile vomit everywhere, are you? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. Oh. Oh no. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to clear anyone out, but Martha's not. Budging. Martha's into it. Martha's like, I will do anything to get all up on Craig. <laughs> you and your projectile vomit cannot stop Martha. <laughs> of the co-op board. <laughs> Back it up, Martha. 
you're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning, and it's feeling pretty acidic. Look at her. Look, Look at her. She's selling oh, it. Oh, man. I love her. Unstoppable force Amanda and Jimbo tag team meets immovable object jets. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, no. Amanda shoots me a worried look. The con is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. Oh. Shit. Do we rewind? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I guess it went away and I'm fine now and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. Uh oh. Shit, we gotta rewind. Wait, well, let's see what happens. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Hmm? Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight. If you're not doing anything, of course, Crack. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Perhaps we could make another baby Crack. Wow, this lady's really going for the gold. Hey! Huh, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself and River, but thanks for the invite. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention toward her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear, if we have to buy it. <laughs> Tiffany, only I can stick things in slots. I mean, Craig only. Into my slot, Craig, you could do what she's doing to the machine with the pizza. The pizza's your dick in this scenario. Just think about it, okay? Craig, just, I'm going to go deal with Tiffany, but just think of an open mind. The coin slot, me. The pizza, your dick, Craig, okay? That's it. All right, I'm gonna go. I have to leave now. <laughs> Goodbye, Craig. <laughs> Craig. Okay. Martha storms off toward her kid. Uh, she seems nice. What if River is oh. actually in charge and Craig is Mecca? <laughs> Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the jokins! Oh. Tiffany is a stellar hitter. Phew, I think I finally have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Hmm. Only on days like today, I hope. <clears throat> Dad! Hmm? Whoa. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, man. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad! Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Mm. Oh. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. I want to see that ass dance. <laughs> Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. He was a loser. <laughs> I had him to only myself. I, he was mine only. <laughs> I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Hmm. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to do your own, to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? Ah. You know it. 
Look at how cool Amanda is. Yeah. That's that's like the same smile that Hazel has. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. The sneaky, sneaky smile. Darn, I missed the days back in college where Craig was a loser and I was the only friend he had. <laughs> Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Dad. <laughs> only option, kill everyone so that Craig only has you. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a compli- Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. Whoa. Would you say Jimbo's tilted? <laughs> you dare <a> Jimbo. <laughs> she fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. What is that? No, 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 no. Don't no, let him. Don't drop let him it. That. Well, he likes lion stuffed animals. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have so many lion stuffed animals? I have animals? my nostalgic Lion King ones from, like, the 90s. Oh, my God. And then I have the World of Warcraft Wyvern. Doggo's name is Digby. Hi, uh, Digby. After Digby and pushing daisies. <laughs> Basically, Kayo. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Oh my god. Digby, you're loved. Uh, yeah. We went to college together. Digby, stop eating lions. <laughs> After bad boy Big B Wolf. <laughs> Please don't lean on my thing. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I honestly don't know if I could say... Huh? Seriously? You're gonna make it tilt. Because it just seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Ooh. Lady, I swear to God. <laughs> Available for this day. <laughs> All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the machine, the pinball machine, tilt. Oh, Janet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Janet! Janet! Amanda's gonna kick your ass, Janet! Oh, Janet's mad. No, sorry, Amanda's mad. Go. Ah! You stone harpy. Whoa! Damn! Yes! Oh, um, shit! What? Ugh. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. <gasps> Whoa! Amanda! Amanda's mad! You um, don't mess with Amanda Don't and fuck with pinball! There's so much toxicity. Janet. In the, in the pinball community. The fucking pinball community. You don't fuck with it. Amanda? Dude. Bro! <laughs> Amanda's gay awakening awakened some fucking powers. Holy shit. <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. Whoa, yes! Shit, yes, Craig! Let's go! It's... River's on. River's, River's like, like yeah. ready. River's like, I will control this mecca. <laughs> I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally. Amanda promises she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. I've had a revealing day, and I just wanted to blow up some steam with some fucking pinball Janet. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Oh. oh. 
Oh. So romantic. Look at us. Oh. He has a Zarya scar too. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. They have matching scars. <laughs> that's right. I like to think they were both like drunk in college. Yeah. And they were just like, bro, want to get a notch out of her eyebrow? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Fucking sweet. <laughs> Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Let Amanda say fuck. <laughs> Hold up. Crank walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. We're going to oh, play catch. Oh, man. If you build it, he will come. Oh. Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Aw, uh, I want to play catch. Did I tell you about the time I tried to play catch with Mariah and it was really just me throwing the ball and Mariah like running to catch, like running after it? I can see that, but it's also weird because I feel like she should be good at it. But, but she like, never played it. Mm, she was like, that's true. she was, she was the other kind of lesbian. She was, she did horses. Like, that's true. Like she did the jumping and the the racing the horses on the barrels and shit oh my god yeah <laughs> if you build it he will come <laughs> don't drag Mariah like this <laughs> <laughs> she's at roller derby now it's fine <laughs> barrel horse Go. I, I have a cooler in my car that we could grab but there's only juice boxes in there Mariah was a barrel horse lesbian. Man, fatherhood is strange. Hmm? You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back at my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. Oh. Suck the juice box. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Oh. Ask about the kids. Yeah. Ah, heart. I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither can I. You owe me. Or you, you, you oh, owe you me. owe me. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. But fuck you, River. <laughs> <laughs> River fucking sucks. <laughs> I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I lived. Ask about coaching softball. It's safe. Okay. Just in case coaching softball is the sensitive subject yes hmm. <laughs> remember river is the one controlling him to say all this <laughs> when river happened craig 2.0 happened <laughs> so is softball coach the life you wanted or was it the life that was thrust upon you jimbo sometimes you're funny <laughs> i'll admit that i was hesitant at first briar and hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports but no one, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. I don't know. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. <laughs> I like Craig. Yeah. 
They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. <laughs> um, how do we tell him that the T-Rex won? <laughs> Ask about You're the... a big boy T-Rex. He, he's a big bad T-Rex. Yeah, big bad T-Rex. <laughs> Can we ask about the business? Obviously. So, you run a business now? Bro. Yup, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. Mm -hmm. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. Huh? It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ. Janet. Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Nice. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Ooh, do you play soccer, Apple Spot? Uh. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? <laughs> May. <laughs> Maybe some Jimbo Paul? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Peace and quiet. Whoa. Whoa. Jimbo Paul can give you Jimbo. We learned that from Robert. Jimbo has. Robert told us never to feel silent. Uh, just always. Talk. Always just silently sit. <laughs> we know how to silently sit, Craig. Hot, hot silence. Whoa, Jimbo. Jimbo. Jimbo's making it. Jimbo. Damn, Jimbo. I don't think I've ever heard someone call silence hot. Jimbo knows. Jimbo know, spent time wow. with Robert and Jeez. was like, you know what gets people hot? Not talking. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. The dark, oh. mysterious type. Dude. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Whoa. Whoa. Jimbo. Whoa. Jimbo's so good at that. Jimbo's Damn. so, like, Jimbo, Jimbo doesn't do anything. Yeah, Jimbo literally does that every day. Jimbo only goes on dates with boys. <laughs> that's, that's all he does. That's all he does. He's like, listen, <laughs> outside of doing nothing, oh, Robert and Craig would be really cute. Oh. Go. Hmm. But more seriously... I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Oh, but Jimbo's not a stranger, is no. he? No. Jimbo. You know me. I'm Jimbo Paul. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Buddy, I hear you. Oh. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Dude, we need to give Craig a bro job. I love Craig. Craig Craig is my second favorite so far. Whoa, all right. Yeah. And then Damien comes in third. There you go. I think for me it's Robert and then Damien. You don't deserve Craig. Or I like Craig, but he'd be more of a buddy. He's like Garrus for me. No, keep going. What are we doing? Hit softballs don't get hit on by moms. <laughs> I missed what he said. Uh, I did too. Let's do. Here, save it. I already did. Oh, um. I mean, I'll do it again just in case I actually didn't. I didn't, Hugo, I tried to make a joke with Hugo, and he gave me black smoke. So, I like, like, Hugo's great, but he doesn't appreciate Jimbo Paul's sense of humor. His sense of 
not taking life seriously. <laughs> His sense of making fun of the aquarium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit softball. A wise man once said, I'm quoting myself. Copyright. Thanks, dude. Well, I'm distracted. I missed the softball and it hits me right on the head. Oh, I'm telling oh, you. I'm no. telling you. Jimbo Paul's humor is Joomer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that hurts. They should bring Mary in to seduce these moms. Yes. Amanda was right all along. Robert and Hazel, The Last of Us 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Oh no, take care of me, Daddy oh, Craig. Oh my. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh. It's worse than I thought. Uh-oh. We're gonna need... Oh, oh no! Jimbo! Oh, Jimbo! Jimbo! Jimbo's so fierce with Craig. He's so confident. He is. He doesn't even need us to tell him to do stuff. I've never seen Jimbo this confident. He was so awkward with Robert. I know. We had to, like, make... Jimbo was so lame to Robert. I know. He just needed to know him a little longer. He did. Look at him and Craig. He's a natural. He is. Look at him! Are you seeing where was river? Where was Jimbo Paul saying this when he got a boo-boo with Robert? <laughs> kiss the thumb. That's what I kiss thought it. was going to happen. He's going to kiss his... Why don't you kiss my thumb, Robert? Kiss my thumb, Robert. Make me feel better. Damn it. Oh, shit. Ah. Jimbo. Jimbo evolved. All right. River is don't, not having any of this. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Bro. You would be so lucky. Oh, oh my! Look at these bros. Oh my! Just bros being bros. Oh. Oh. Kissing is for the weak. Kissing is for the weak, and I'm super strong. Oh, oh look at him! He's so cool! I do a couple push-ups to prove how strong I am! Regular ones, not the modified ones. Those are for quitters and people with good knees. <laughs> I'm a strong dad who is capable of raising children despite past mishaps with projectile objects. Nice. Oh no, where's my eggplant? Damn it, wait, I need to go back. Wait. Oh yeah, we load. Which, which one's the one for eggplants? It's the I mean. Damn it. I mean, I mean, I feel like I've earned it at this point, waiting all day to hang out with you. Oh. oh. Mm. Gotta be softer. Well. <laughs> what? Oh. My brand of flirting isn't for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Craig is your second choice. That's why Craig is my second choice. <laughs> Robert would have given me eggplants for that. <laughs> I should just date my fucking self. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Mm -hmm. Walk it off, champ. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Robert, Robert would have joined us right there. Look, look. Oh my. Are the lights on this softball field really hot, or, or is, is it, it just, just me? Look at River. <laughs> River is like this River, fucking shit. River's like keep me out of this. River's like no. River's powering down. It's late. <laughs> <laughs> I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hmm. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? Aw, oh, look at River! Aww. He's sleeping. Hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... 
You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. <gasps> River's internal dialogue is vo voiced by Widowmaker. <laughs> yes! Fadiel, we must get to the crowd. <laughs> I am quite tired from my day of being on your rock hard abs. <laughs> you work out too much, Fadiel. I just want to sleep in baby crib. <laughs> hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Bro. How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. <laughs> and I have missed. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. Oh man, yeah, can you imagine the looks on our faces? We just walked straight past them, like we were out for a stroll. Why are they still talking? <laughs> the adults, they do not care for baby rivers need to go to bed. <laughs> it is uncomfortable sitting in a standing up position, Greg, my father. <laughs> and not knowing, that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. Hey. Ah, uh, my Fazel and his friend reminiscing about college. <laughs> and then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. We, we must return to Le Chateau, Papa. <laughs> man, art. Man, college. Huh? Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls... <clears throat> Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as he can manage with a baby between us. Fazel, you must not hug when I am on your chest. <laughs> it is very uncomfortable and Jimbo Paul smells like grease. <laughs> Never enough time, huh? Guess not. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I'd like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand. <laughs> Papa, do not squish me into a home sandwich. <laughs> Papa, do not squish me like Spidey <laughs> I am afraid of Spidey <laughs> Burning the midnight art oil? <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter Lip Sync Battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Huh. Yes. <gasps> hey, Kari. I look over her shoulder at the collage. The hot never beat. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dots. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Hmm. Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future. And those are basically just to have to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. This is the gayest thing I've ever seen. That is a gay this collage. This is a very gay future. That collage, this if you... Is, you if, are planning way ahead. If you touch it, you become gay. <laughs> if your eye... It's kind of the like... The collage is how we are around Mariah. It's like the art... Like, like how yes. everybody gets gay around Mariah. Yes. That's... Yeah, it, you know in Indiana Jones where there's the Ark of the Covenant and they're like, don't look at it or you'll melt. It's like that except you'll just get like hella gay. <laughs> like hella gay. Go. Oh, now you've done it. 
Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh. Aw, Dad. You did this with your good heart. She pats me on the back. Hmm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. I love that hmm. drawing of Widow. Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. He cr can't cry. His tear ducts were removed long ago. <laughs> also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. She's going to be too powerful. She's going to be too powerful. Too much. She's going to say... Too much. She's going to say, I would reject mercy because I wouldn't want to listen to her medical advice. <laughs> That's how powerful she's Amanda's moving, getting. She's moving at a lesbian's pace now. Oh, or... Kari, trust. I looked at it. It's one of my favorite images of Widow. Um, She's moving at a lesbian's pace now. Yes. Where they're like, we like each other. Let's move in. Yes. After a we week. Do, yes. Let's yes. go. She's going to hit on every fucking Emma. <laughs> She'll have a house by the end of... Oh, the week basically. with money and like yeah. 12 dogs yeah oh yeah how about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots in practice dare i say parallel uh, parking whoa jimbo jimbo Jimbo's so confident after craig. he is he's like i only i needed craig and that's it <laughs> <laughs> baby steps dad i'll work my way up to it amanda you hauling her own life All right, I'm going to hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. The laser disc is the... Day, Day complete. More dad points than daddy You're points. You're only half thirsty. Uh, only halfway. But our dude is maxed out. That's right. Welcome. You've got that. Oh, we're fine. All right. Okay. What? Let's do it. Where did you hear about the six date? Thing? I don't. I. I'm not sure. I. I don't remember. It might be more than six. Craig number two. Yes. It is never too early to invest in a personal IRA. I really want to get some get some good quality time in with Craig. The last time we hung out, he was so busy with the kids and fending off flirty moms that I feel like we barely talked. But I did get oh, a kiss. Oh, yes. Ever since the first time we hung out, I've been trying to get up a little early for runs. I don't think I'm going to be as embarrassing as last time. Maybe I'll even catch up to him now. Whoa. Look at... He's That's, so eager. Jimbo wants some fuck so bad, he's ready to run. Yep, yep. Can you imagine being that thirsty? Like, running? I, I can't, because I Because you, like you literally turned down the too, Craig in your life. That's literally too much. I understand. That's going too far. It is. <laughs> I type out a message to him on dad book. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. man. Wow. Shit. When you try to read it in real I couldn't time. remember whose voice I was supposed to be doing. Been training on um been training on my run game recently. Ready for a round two? Dude, of course, emojis. I don't know why he didn't just send an emoji rather than type it out. <laughs> uh, I like Craig. I hate emojis. No, no emoji. No emoji. Go. Oh, I'm pretty sure Jimbo Paul's had a crush since college. Ooh. Another message pops into my inbox from Craig. I type back. Oh, wait. Let's meet up early tomorrow morning for my favorite morning activity. Brunch. Ooh. I type back. Brunch? What's that? Oh, you run and, and then you get brunch. Oh, right. 
Wow. Craig and I agree to a time to meet in the morning, and I have a chance to spend the evening hanging out with Amanda. Aww. So, we doing pizza tonight? Again, can we do like a salad night? Oh no, Jimbo Paul's being healthy! Oh no! Whoa! Dad, are you on a health kick? Oh no. Oh, oh my! Oh no! This means. Oh. Mm. I won't be eating any pineapple pizza for now. Just the pineapple by oh, itself. Oh my. This bad boy doesn't take whiskey is, shots. Is pineapple the fruit that dissolves your mouth? Yes. It That's eats right. you back. Yeah. That's why I respect it as a fruit, Melissa. <laughs> it, it, it eats you back. We must drop Craig immediately. <laughs> All right. I, not yet, I formed the committee to examine the possibility of being on a health kick. They haven't returned with their findings. Uh. Dad, if you go on a health click, kick, then I have to go on a health kick by virtue of being under the same roof as you. I don't know if I have the constitution for that. Mm. Do you remember? Do you remember how I tried to eat healthy, but you and Mariah refused to help me in this matter? That's because you and push I would things I would too cook far. I would cook. And get all the food, and it'd be like, oh, look, here's, like, a little roast fucking baked chicken. Here's, like, some fucking Brussels sprouts and, like, fucking asparagus and shit. And what happens? What happens? You and Mariah eat the chicken, and then I'm left with eight billion vegetables, and then I'm just sitting on the couch with, like, eight fucking buckets of, our, like, what are they called? Brussels sprouts going, oh, thanks, guys. Well... Whose fault was it that you made a million Brussels sprouts? There wasn't even a million Brussels no, sprouts. No, you, you gave could've just, you gave everyone one chicken leg. Yeah, one one chicken leg. Yeah, because the, the million Brussels sprouts. How the am portions, I supposed to eat my greens? If just a chicken leg. The goddamn portions. There is no meat on that chicken leg. There's there meat on the chicken. No, no the, meat. I went to Trader Joe's and I got the big ass chicken legs where it's not even like. Like the cheap, like Walmart chicken legs, where it's like, oh, there's like none meat on this. It was a legit dinner, and I was disrespected. <laughs> you need to get your portions right. My portions were correct. You're supposed to eat more vegetables. <laughs> Dad. Ugh. All right, go. I want chicken. Fuck, I want wing stout. No, that's not. No, I don't think I've eaten a vegetable. Well, I ate a vegetable this afternoon, but still. I ate a banana. Shut up. A banana barely, <laughs> barely counts. <laughs> Bananas like, oh, I guess this goes in Sundays and smoothies. <laughs> Go. Go. What? Oh. What, what? should we do? I was looking at a link. What should we do? What? Um... The committee is still out. The committee isn't back with its findings yet. This is a multi-year assessment on several bureaucratic levels. Well. Amanda picks up the phone and stares at me, unblinking as she dials. <laughs> this is you and Mariah. <laughs> All right. I can eat spinach. I can do spinach. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Now I'm just thinking about stuff that I'm able to eat. Nothing. I you, like onion. You like, you like cried when you tried to eat broccoli. Broccoli. I did. Beef. Did I tell you guys about this? <laughs> we were so. eating. We were eating lunch. <laughs> and I was like, Melissa, I need you to live. A little bit longer so you can continue to help me and Mariah pay rent. So please, please eat this broccoli beef. <laughs> and it's like fucking little, like three broccolis covered in meat sauce and beef. And she took a bite out of one. And I shit you not, she started crying. <laughs> I, I'm sitting at this table with her as she's like chewing this piece of broccoli covered in meat sauce sobbing <laughs> like i had a gun to her head and the broccoli also had nails in it 
And I was like, Melissa, are you like, are you like legit crying? <laughs> and it was like a gut reaction. Like you were fucking. I needed to cry. You were crying. <laughs> like the tears were falling into the broccoli beef. <laughs> And I'm just like... I ate it, though. I got it. No. I ate it. <laughs> and that's the last piece of broccoli I've eaten. God. I haven't eaten any since then. So... <laughs> geez. Oh, I love onion. I like, I like onions. I didn't eat... I couldn't eat a whole raw onion, but I, like... Like, at In-N-Out, you know how they give you, like, basically a whole slice of onion? Like, that's my shit. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> I love onions. They're good. Um, hi. Yes. Can I get an extra large pizza with chicken, bacon, extra cheese, and tomatoes? And a couple of the garlic sauce cups. Ooh, those are good. It, um, wait a second. What? This pizza does not have pineapple. And instead has tomatoes. Rude. At first, she's going, she's going very intense on this pizza. Chicken and bacon? No, I, she's fucking going for yeah. it. Yeah. You know how expensive this pizza's gonna be? You know how they charge, like, they have the toppings, but there's, like, the premium toppings? Well, like, no, chicken is it, one of them. No, it just depends on what kind of pizza you're getting. Because some of them don't charge like that. This is, this would be so expensive. It, the garlic sauce cups would be, like, a dollar each. No, just, just go. Just continue. Amanda... You're going a little north here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, right. Can you maybe throw in some leaves on there or something? Yeah, he's going on a health kick. Yeah, Rico, I know. It's tragic. He, she's on first name basis with the pizza boy. Oh, my God. Yes. Amanda listens for a second. Hmm. Hold on, I'll ask. Hmm. Dad, is oregano a salad? <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> yeah, oregano is a salad. Ah. Yeah, Rico. Sprinkle some of that on there. Yep, cash is fine. Say hi to the wife and kids for me. Oh my god. Amazing. Amanda hangs up. <laughs> Rico says, hey. The food gets delivered and we plop down on the couch to eat some za. Ah. Just be careful. Running is a gateway drug. It's a slippery slope, Dad. First, you go on a couple light jogs and before you know it, you're converting the garage into a home gym and renewing your subscription to some sort of weekly kombucha delivery service. <laughs> question shoot what's kombucha <laughs> okay so you aren't too far gone yet ah uh. i'm just giving you a hard time pops i'm really happy you're running more and caring about your health i want to keep you around for as long as possible thanks kiddo speaking of which i'm running with craig tomorrow <laughs> You gonna be able to keep up with him? Hey. Probably not. <laughs> we laugh and eat more pizza than is probably healthy in the name of carbo loading. I call it a night early so that I'm ready for tomorrow. When I first started running in the mornings, it was pretty hellish. Now that I'm a few sessions in, it admittedly has become a little bit easier, despite it always ending in me dry heaving over a trash can. Is that what the runner's high is? Just dry heaving? I lace up my tennis shoes, throw on a t-shirt from a writer's summit I went to 20 years ago, and head out the door at a moderate jog. Craig is already outside with River strapped to his chest. Hey! He's dressed head to toe in color coordinated running gear. Wow, I look like a total schlub next to this guy. Hey, bro! Morning, Craig. River gonna be running with us? 
Oh. Best as she can. We're taking it to the limit, aren't we, kiddo? Legu. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I know what that means. Craig hands her a stuffed toy, which makes her smile ear to ear. Aww. Oh. That's Arnold, the capybara. Sometimes it's the only thing that'll get her to stop crying. Yes, I love my capybara. <laughs> it is a beautiful stuffed animal named Arnold. <laughs> I have named this capybara Arnold because I looked into the stuffed animal's eyes and I knew that his name was Arnold. <laughs> Fazio, take me to run. <laughs> Arnold must see the sights. <laughs> oh, I've been there. Man had a stuffed panda that she carried around everywhere. She would have a tantrum if we even tried to wash it. It was gross. So, you've been running lately? Every morning for 30 minutes, I'm basically an elite athlete by this point. <laughs> ha, well, I'll try and keep up. So where are we headed? Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking that we could do a couple laps around the park. Okay, that sounds reasonable. He's going to keep going, Jimbo. You've made a mistake. <laughs> oh. Then we'll do some hill climbs up a slope. Okay, I can probably handle that. Hmm. And then we'll close it off by doing some wilderness survival hike running to increase our agility. Whoa. I think Jimbo might start crying like when I ate the broccoli. I think he's already started crying. I'm suddenly struck with the overwhelming need to crawl back into bed. Hmm. That sound okay to you? I usually like to throw in some time murder sprints in there, but I'll go easy on you since you're a beginner. That sounds like something I am able to physically do. Hey. Great, let's get started. Oh. Craig and I finally arrive at the park. A few other lone joggers make their way around the perimeter and river waves enthusiastically at everyone we pass. It's a lot more peaceful in the mornings. Aside from birds chirping and river gurgling away in the stroller, it's pretty quiet. Uh, the park. <laughs> it is a lovely day for a jog. All right, good warm up. That was the warm up? <laughs> oh. Let's start the show. Oh boy. Bro. But wait. Craig reaches into his bag and tosses me a water bottle. I fumble it, but thankfully don't drop it. Oh. You gotta hydrate, bro. I take a long drink from the water bottle and feel reinvigorated. Man, I don't drink enough water. Hey. I look down and pick up Arnold. River's toy and hand it back to her. Must have dropped this. Hmm. Thanks for looking out, bro. Jeez. Get your disgusting hands off of Arnold's. <laughs> you are not. You are not fit to touch him. <laughs> Fazio! Do not let this pink man touch Arnold. <laughs> not again. <laughs> not ever. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna fucking... We're gonna work. Hmm. We finally finish our however many teeth lap around the park. I'm breathing heavily. But I can't believe I actually didn't lose Craig. He's even breathing heavily too. Which makes me feel a little better. I look down at my shirt and notice that I'm drenched in sweat. Huh. Almost looks like a frowny face. That's one. What? <laughs> nice. 
I'm just kidding. Good hustle out there. I'm really impressed. You're way better than the last time I launched you off a treadmill. Yeah, man. You really pushed me to my limit just now. I can't believe I held on. Oh. Sometimes you just need someone there with you to push you to do your absolute best. I'm glad I could be that guy, bro. He's the man that's gonna push us. Mm. He's gonna push you to do He's your best, Jimbo. He's gonna push us so hard. How good are we gonna do, Jimbo? How far will we go? <laughs> Who's ready for hill climbs? Blep. <laughs> hmm. There's my little cheerleader. Jimbo Paul, you ready? Um. You want you want. I want you maybe the a, middle ug. Maybe maybe a little bit of like ugh. a little bit of like ah. Uh, like not a tiny bit, but not like a baby a ug. You bet. Craig, take me to a separate portion of the park where there's a steep hill that seems to go up forever. I strain my eyes to see some other joggers at the top. So, what do we do now? Oh. We run up the thing. That looks like a lot. Hmm. Jimbo Paul, there's two things you need to know about this hill. One, don't stop running till you hit the top. And two... Craig points to the top of the hill. Bro. That's not the top. The fuck, Craig? I just, like, started running. <laughs> I, like, just started Craig running. Craig is trying to kill us. Craig is, like... K Craig is trying. Craig is, <laughs> Craig is, like, I don't need another person competing for my time. <laughs> He's just... Craig running. wants to be alone on Saturdays. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Save it. Save it. We might mess up the UG. I'm not sure which UG is appropriate. Let's just do middle UG. Let's do this. I don't know. I finally reached, reached the top of the hill after making my way past what I originally thought was the top of the hill. Once there, I hunch over onto my knees and gasp for air. My lungs are like daggers poking my ribs. I can feel my heart in my ears. Flip. <laughs> River, I'm having a moment, please. Oh, you are having a moment, Jimbo. I am covered in sweat from this man. <laughs> it is disgusting. <laughs> Arnold, <laughs> he's so sad. Did not want to make this run. <laughs> Who boy? Craig looks like he's taking a beating as well. Ha! So he is human. Mm -hmm. Jimbo Paul, put your arms on your head and stretch out your elbows. It'll totally help you breathe better. Better. I do as Craig says. It feels a little better, but I am still in agony. <laughs> Thank you. And here. Craig tosses me the water bottle again. I hydrate like my life depends on it. Thanks, dude. Hey. Phenomenal work. You feel that lightness in your head? That's the runner's high. Oh, that's it. I thought I was just, you know, dying. Hmm. Want to take it slow for a bit? Craig's like, we were gonna run. A we were gonna run we again. We were gonna go up and down the hill again. But it seems like you're just like really tired, dude. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like that very much. As we're catching our breath, River starts crying. <laughs> Le <Le-we. laughs> Le Why? 
Lewa. Why? I, ever since I was a girl, I was afraid of running. Have you been practicing your accent since the Tracer comic came out? And that meme was going around with Widow looking on the TV screen and seeing Emily and Tracer. Which one? The the Christmas comic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Sweet Pea? Do you want to play with Arnold? Craig looks around us. Nice. Oh boy, man down. I think we lost Arnold. You incompetent fools! <laughs> you have lost the Arnold. <laughs> It was my one toy. <laughs> my heart, she does not beat without Arnold. <laughs> I need my... My little capybara. <laughs> it is so sad. River keeps wailing. Bro. Le what? Le what? <laughs> I've abandoned my child's toy. Mon love in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> we gotta find him, dude. It should be simple, right? We just gotta retrace our steps. I remember River last having it down at the bottom of the hill. Hmm. Baby Tracer swiped Arnold. Hello, love. What's this? Craig and I jog down the path, searching high and low for the stuffed capybara, which Craig takes the time to explain to me is a large rodent native to South America. It's actually really cute. Have you seen capybaras? Yeah, I've seen those. They're adorable. They're they're adorable. <laughs> also, thank you, Vaku, <laughs> Vaku and One Bear. We get to the place where River might have dropped it, but it's still nowhere to be found. Hmm. Looks like we've got a mystery on our hands. We have to get to the bottom of this, literally and figuratively, because it, we last saw it at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> you did it. I suspect foul play. Looks like this is a prime case for the real world renowned de <laughs> Detective Danny! Detective Danny! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Can you die in this part? <laughs> Oh. Dude, it's time for a bro adventure. Yes. A bro venture. Oh wait, a bro venture. Hmm. We high five and decide to jog back to the park to see if we can find any leads. Hmm. So it looks like there's a couple more places to check and some bros around here that we could interrogate. Sounds good. Hey. When I was a baby, I was taught the harsh realities of this cruel, cruel world when I lost my best friend, Arnold. <laughs> Wait, who's good cop and who's bad cop? I think about it for a second. We have to be the bad boy. Oh, wait. Damn it, we're the good boy. Oh, no. Well, I think that with your stature and overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. Detective Daddy is on the case for that D. But on the other hand, you do have an adorable baby strapped to your chest, so that softens the edges a bit. Hmm. All valid points. I think you would make for a great good cop because of your congenial attitude and willingness to try new things. But then again, I've seen how you get when there are too many commercial breaks during a show, so you have the potential to be a scary bad cop. Mm, scary bad boy. We have to be a bad boy. We have to. For Robert. <laughs> Channel your Robert. Mm. I don't I don't want to have to wait to watch Meat Hell in three minute segments with five minutes of commercials in between. And they're loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch my shows in peace without people yelling at me to buy wiper fluid and stuff. Nice. Case in point. Let's play it moment by moment. Oh. Smart. Hmm. So, where to, protective? Uh, excuse me. I love this. <laughs> he likes buddy cop movies. I know. I like buddy cop movies. Well, then. <laughs> where are we going? 
Um. Hmm. Let's, I think the playground's yeah, at the bottom. Say, Go the to the field. Oh. What? Oh, all right. Not, look, that looks like a field, and that's where we've only been. So, should we want to go to the field? Playground. Let's go to the playground. Oh. We make our way over. Are we going to interrogate Brian? Oh. We make our way over to a small playground at the edge of the park. A couple of kids play on the jungle gym while parents watch on the nearby benches. Over on one of the benches, I spot a familiar face. Ooh. Do all the options, but interrogate. Joseph. We gotta interrogate Joseph. Joseph. Oh my. Oh, do all the options except for interrogate Joseph. Oh. Look for clues. Craig and I, two grown adults, walk onto the playground and begin examining it meticulously for clues. There's no forensic evidence here. No stray capybara hairs, at least. After searching fruitlessly for some time, we look up. All of the parents are staring at us. We smile and wave as we awkwardly slink away. We head back to the playground. Uh, Try to calm River down. This is a pretty nice playground. Might as well get a couple swings in. Are you gonna go? Dude, what about Arnold? Maybe having a little swing might calm River down. Might buy us some more time. Ooh. You're right, she's about to go nuclear. This might prepare her for the possibility of us not being able to find Arnold. Where? <laughs> hey, Ash. Life is cruel and tough, but at least we'll always have swings. Craig straps River onto the ba into the baby swing and gives her a gentle push. She giggles. There you go. <laughs> what a good This boy. is reminding me what happiness is. <laughs> Perhaps there is a life outside of Arnold. <laughs> I take a seat on the swing next to her and immediately realize that I'm stuck. River seems to love that. Craig eventually helps me out of the swing and we decide to get back to the investigation. We head back to the playground. Uh, move to another part of the park then. Wait, save. Move to another part of the park. Where to now, bro? Oh no, that's a different location. Yeah, but we were told to do everything but interrogate Joseph. Oh, I thought not interrogate Joseph. Oh, go back. <laughs> Good job. We head back to the playground. Interrogate Joseph. Let's see what Joseph's up to. Yeah. We jog over to Joseph, who seems to be engrossed in his book. Mm. Hmm? Joseph! Yeah. Joseph nearly drops his book. He's guilty. He is. He stole Arnold. Uh. What voice did I have for Joseph? I think it was a suburban mom voice. Yeah, suburban mom. Hey guys, I didn't think I'd see you two out here. Jimbo Paul, are you exercising? Sure am. You know me. I just love to run and be healthy. That's kind of my whole thing. What are you reading? Oh, just a book on knots and rope tying. Oh, what a kinky boy. Whoa. Oh, my. Mm. I'm just, I'm just. No biggie. Just learning mm. how to tie. I'm just a learning rope. how to tie a knot. Oh, tie me up. You'll notice my sweater also oh. has a knot. Oh, I learned this from the book. It keeps it preppily on my shoulders. <laughs> Mm. Lord McDonald. Uh, for boats. Fuck, I forgot how to do the voice. Boat ropes. <laughs> yeah. 
I got distracted <laughs> you by the... You did. You got all distracted. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. I just got to get back into character. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> right. Hmm. Say, you didn't happen to see a stuffed copper bar around here. Oh. What's a capybara? Hmm? It's a large rodent that's native to South America. Joseph thinks for a second. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He haven't seen that one around. I'll tell the kids to keep an eye out. Your kids are here? Bro. Joseph looks around. More McDonald's. They were a second ago. Must have gone exploring around the park. Do you know where they could have run off to? Oh. River, <laughs> River closes her eyes. Keep your kinky shit to the bedroom. <laughs> Arnold is missing. I do not need to know about your ropes <laughs> and the nuts. <laughs> They're kids. They get into mischief sometimes, but they always come back. Ooh. Uh-oh. You gotta be a bad cop. You gotta be a bad boy. Mischief, you say? Oh, Kirk Douglas. Hi, uh, wait, am I being interrogated right now? No, yes. <laughs> Only if you did something wrong. Wait, save it. Only if you did something wrong. What are you hiding, Joseph? Yeah. Oh, kind of getting the third degree here. This is serious. There's a capybara on the line. Yeah. I mean, you're more than welcome to ask Christian and Christy. I imagine they have their ears on the ground on all the latest playground drama. They might be somewhere around the woods. Thanks, Joseph. We'll let you get back to your rope book. We don't kink shame here. <laughs> you just read that in plain sight of all the children. <laughs> Why did you go to a playground to read your... Rope tying your, book. Your naughty book. Naughty. Now do you get it? I literally hate you. <laughs> I literally hate you. Naughty, naughty. Oh, God. Oh. Bow ropes. We head back to the playground. Move to another spot. Let's go to the woods. I have dad deducted where we should go next. The woods. That's where his stupid kids are. We make our way to the outskirts of the park. There are a couple of benches by the dense tree line. Looks like Robert's here all by himself. This also seems like the perfect place to look for clues. <gasps> My boy. No. Joseph's twins must be around here somewhere. Look for clues. Mm. Craig and I search through the outskirts of the woods, hoping to find anything that might lead us to Arnold. There are a couple of cigarettes and empty beer cans scattered all around the thicket. This is probably the hot spot for edgy teens to hang out at night and say swears and stuff. But it doesn't look like there were any recent activity that might be capybara related. This might be a dead end, partner bro. We return to the woods. Joseph Twins must be around here somewhere. Uh, interrogate Robert. Maybe Robert saw something. We rock. We walk over to Robert's bench. Uh. Hey, oh, Rob. Oh, there he is. Oh, mm. look at him. Who is Robert? Was it me or you? What? Who who voiced Robert? Oh, that was me. Okay. Don't call me that. Okay. Hi, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me that either. Um. Okay. Hey, buddy. Huh. What are you up to? I... Thinking. This is my thinking bench. <laughs> hmm. I 
have to get a solid two to three <laughs> hours of brooding in per day. Love him. Filling quotas. <laughs> hmm. Have you by any chance seen a small stuffed capybara around? A capybara is... Mm. It's a large rodent native to South America. Look at I my know. boy! My boy knows what a capybara... Yes, I like this Robert. <laughs> he does not need to be explained, Capybara. He knows. He knows Arnold. Well, theoretically, if River is Widow and Robert is His Reaper, Reaper they're of bros. Course, of course they get along. Of course. Oh. Uh, so, have you seen one? I... A stuffed one. Not a real one. That would be weird. Hmm. Oh, to be a bad boy. We have to be bad. We do. Let's be a bad boy. All right, Robert. We've been nice. Help us out, or I'm gonna go off, learn how to fight, and then come back here to kick your ass. Oh, Robert's. Oh, Robert. Oh, oh. <laughs> you learning how to fight, please. Oh no, maybe we should have let. <laughs> maybe we should have let. <laughs> We've already dated Robert. He already knows. He knows we're weak. <laughs> We've made a mistake. <laughs> we probably should have picked you. Well, fine. If you don't tell us what we want to hear, I'm going to spoil the season finale of Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers. Huh? You're bluffing. Hmm. My buddy here doesn't play by the rules. Jimbo Paul will do it. Callum and Flint crash into a haunted... What? Stop! You're a monster. There. Robert sighs. I haven't seen any goddamn capybara. Alright? Oh, okay? I suppose this was a productive meeting. <laughs> Crap! I was really nailing the bad cop bit too. I thought for sure we had something. Dude... Now what, bro? Joseph said his twins are around here somewhere, but I have no idea how we're supposed to find them. Oh. Wait, those creepy kids? Why didn't you tell me they had something to do with this? <laughs> He's so cute. Huh, maybe I should have left the good cop bad routine to the pros on TV. Oh my god, why does he say TV? Why does he say TV weird? Yeah. Hey! Yeah, Robert, bro, do you know where they are? Oh, this is the beginning of the shipping. Yes, I oh. ship them. Mm -hmm. I do. A lot of people underestimate the senses of the man who broods. I saw them lurking around here a little while ago. Where'd they go? Hey. Ran into the woods. I'd be careful, though. I don't trust them. But then again, I don't trust anyone. Oh my god. <clears throat> Not even you guys. Oh, Robert, I love your soon I trust no one. <laughs> I'm I, a bad boy. I love his soon oh. nature. <clears throat> Not even that baby. You are wise not to trust me, Robert. <laughs> I could kill you so quickly. <laughs> you are lucky I have Arnold. Lip rip. <laughs> 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 I take that back. You're an old soul, kiddo. This will be the last mistake you make. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Robert. The woods. Go deeper into the woods. I stare into the depths of the forest. Who knows what could be in there? <laughs> Are you prepared for what we might face in there? Safe. Safe. We're not sure. We're. Not, I don't know. Yes. I'm ready, partner, bro. You? Hmm. Nope. But it, if it gets River to stop crying, I don't care. Let's do this. Nice. We start down the path into the woods, keeping our eyes and ears peeled for any sign of Arnold. There are no squirrels or birds anywhere. The silence is unsettling. The sun can barely peek through the cap canopy. It's colder here. Suddenly, we hear voices. I want to do it! You got to do it last time! 
Craig and I come to a clearing where we find Christian and Christy kneeling over something. Are they, like, sacrificing Arnold? I probably... They look creepy. Go. Stop right there! Nice. And put your tiny hands where we can see them. Christian and Christy just stare at us. Is Arnold going to be all tied up in knots? It's the kids. It's not Joseph. You, you don't know? Go, keep going. Keep going. You heard the guy. Put your hands up. We're kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah. Can you come back later? Hmm. What are you kids doing? Cutting stuff up. My heart is pounding. Is this... Is this the end of the line? I step closer. I can't believe what I'm seeing. A pair of safety scissors lies in the dirt and... It's Arnold! What have they done to him? Hey! Arnold! <laughs> Legoob! You heard the baby. Head over the cop oh, bar. Sorry, I accidentally clicked. No fair. Finders keepers. No. Wait, shit. How did I do Jimbo Paul's voice? No, not finders keepers. That's our property, and you've desecrated it. Well, how can you prove it's yours? Ooh, that's a creepy voice. I know. Look at them. Yeah, it doesn't have your name on it. Actually, it does. See the foot on... See on the foot there? Christy looks at the foot. I can't read. Craig looks at me. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, what, what the fuck? What? We didn't do that! Uh-oh. Wait, did we have a ch opportunity to talk to them better? Why was... I... I don't know, man. No, we're taking the fucking... I don't care about his goddamn kids! So done with this, bro? There's no use arguing with them. <laughs> Thank you, Peanut. All right, go. Should we keep going? I don't understand. I want to just take the fucking toy. They're weak. They're small children. I could defeat them. <laughs> Should Did we lose stuff? River sniffles. Craig looks exhausted. How could these evil children... Just take Arnold from me. We are right here. He's in my grasp and I cannot have him. <laughs> Yo. Hi. I gotta get her home or she's gonna have another oh God, meltdown. We need to redo. No, we don't. No, we don't. We go to the field. No, dude, he's saying oh, it's go the back. end of the day. Oh, fuck, go That's back. Go saying. back. Melissa, go back. Ow, ow. Melissa. Why do you do this? How, how could you load the load the playground? Well, oh wait, 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 no. We want to talk to Robert. We want to talk to Robert. Uh, right? Yes. Do that. Yeah. No, wait. Go back. Load the one after that. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> um. So yeah, one. that guy. Better rewind. Be oh. bad cop. Alright, we can still we can still play through this and then go to the field. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Uh, blah 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 blah. We're so cool. All right. Hey. Yep. Huh. Yep. Hey. yep. 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 Mm. Yep. 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 Oh. Move to another part of the park. Clock's ticking, dude. Dude, dude, where are we going next? Go to the field. We wander out to the grassy field in the center of the park. There isn't a whole lot to see, but there are a few figures camped out on a blanket, and the grass could hold any number of secrets. Look for clues. We carefully comb through the fields and 
of grass and flowers. I can't seem to find much besides a couple of ladybugs and a nickel. While I'm looking, Craig calls out to me from across the field. Jimbo Paul! Oh, man. I jog over. Craig is kneeling in the grass, inspecting something. I approach. My heart is in my throat. As I lean over Craig, I see it. This is Arnold's leg. Yes. I pull my hand over River's eyes. No one should be su subjected to this senseless violence. No. I want to see it. <laughs> my, my God. Who or what would do this? I forgot what Jumbo Paul sounds like again. <laughs> Go. Hi. I don't know, but I now I think we might be dealing with something beyond our grasp. I can't look at this anymore. I turn around, trying to wipe the image of the stuffing strewn across the ground from my mind. I don't know. We're running out of time. We may already be too late. I no longer have you in my sights. Bag it and tag it. Let's keep moving. We, we maneuver back to the field. Move to another part of the park. No, we have to go. We're running out of time. What? What are you saying? We, 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 we have the leg, so we got to go back to the creepy twins. Oh, you want to go back to the creepy twins? Yeah, we already have the, we already have the clue. We have the leg. You don't want to talk to Matt? I do, but I feel like we're not going to have enough time. He said clock's ticking. You can only do so many actions before it runs out. Oh. Okay, so are you sure we want to go back there? I mean, I th think so. I mean, like, we could talk to Matt and then reload just to get the scene if you want to do that. I mean, it's it's fine. Here, let's talk to Matt. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, all right. Let's go talk to Bad and his daughter. Carmen Sita spots us from across the way and waves. She's sitting down with her dad on a sunny green patch of grass. We jog over. Hey, Mahogany. Oh. Hey, dudes. Hey, bro. We just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Hmm. Got anything to increase my uh, glycogen reserves? Um... We have apple slices. Oh. Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I should be fine. Hey, yeah. Uh... You guys working out? Good day for it. Yep, I'm the picture of health and athleticism. Hmm? Good transition, Jimbo Paul. Say, you haven't seen a stuffed coffee bar around here anywhere, have you? Hmm. What's, um, what's that, what's a coffee bar of? Uh -oh. It's a large rodent that's native to South America. Wait a second. How do you know what a capybara is? You wouldn't happen to have had hands-on experience with one recently, would you? We learned about capybaras in fourth grade. I think it's more suspicious that you know what a capybara is. I love Carmen Sita. Yep. Hey. Oh my god. What if I took Arnold? What if I'm the culprit and I just don't remember? <laughs> I quickly check my body for any Polaroids I might have kept on my person to remind me of who to trust and who not to trust. I saw Memento once and I'm pretty sure that's how it works. nothing but what if that's what i wanted myself to think no jimbo paul don't let them win i shake off the thought <laughs> i saw a couple of squirrels over there by that tree though i don't know if that helps but if you want to see some cute squirrels you should definitely check it out i don't know thanks for the hot squirrel tip carmen Sita. hmm well, we better get moving. We gotta find that capybara before River here has a breakdown. Oh. Good luck. Let me get some apples for the road, though. Carmen Cita hooked me up with some road slices, and we're on our way. I love apple slices. They're yes. so good. Yeah, they're good. They're best covered in caramel, though. They are good in caramel. Next. 
We maneuver back to the field. Let's go to the woods, dude. To the woods. The woods. All right. Check out the squirrels. No, the woods. All right, all right. We have to save Arnold. The clock is ticking. I'm starting to put the pieces of this case together. Or I have indigestion. We better keep moving. Ooh, apple slices and peanut butter are so good. Yeah. The woods. Go deeper into the woods! I stare into the depths of the forest. Who knows what could be in there? Nice. Did the background not change? Oh. Are you prepared for what we may face in here? Let's say no this time. All right. Well, on second thought, I think they might be able to smell the fear on me. Maybe we should give that a minute to dissipate. Seconded. The woods. Go deeper into the woods. Go save again. I stare into the depths of the forest. Who knows what could be in there? Oh, we have yeah. to say yes. Hmm. I'm ready, partner bro. Nope, but if it gets River to stop crying, I don't care. Hmm. Let's do this. We start down the path into the woods, keeping our eyes and ears peeled for any sign of Arnold. There are no squirrels or birds anywhere. The silence is unsettling. The sun can barely peek through the canopy. It's colder here. Suddenly, we hear voices. I want to do it. You got to do it last time. Craig and I come to a clearing where we find Christian and Christy kneeling over something. Stop right there! Hey! And put your tiny hands where we can see them. Christian and Christy just stare at us. You heard the guy. Put your hands up. We're kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah. Can you come back later? Hmm. What are you kids doing? Cutting stuff up. My heart is pounding. Is this... Is this the end of the line? I step closer. I can't believe what I'm seeing. A pair of safety scissors lies in the dirt. And it's Arnold. What have they done to him? Hey! Arnold! Le goob. Mm. You heard the baby. Hand over the capybara. No fair. Finders keepers. Mm. No, not finders keepers. That's our property, and you've desecrated it. Well, how can you prove it's yours? Craig holds up Arnold's severed leg. I have to look away. Oh. You two got sloppy. You left evidence behind. I think you'll find this that this leg fits perfectly onto his body. Christian and Christy look at each other. They don't know what to do. How about a deal? You give us the capybara and we don't tell your dad about this. Fine. She hands over the stuffed animal. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And just give us those safety scissors. They are clearly no longer safe in your hands. <laughs> Melissa, on the other hand, trash. You see that? I could be a good voice actress. You? Leno. <laughs> I'll be the last thing people see the la before they die. You mean the last thing people hear? Yes. God, can you imagine you're just dying and then you hear, oh no, <laughs> oh, no you... oh, you've been a bad, <laughs> bad, bad boy. Oh no. Who knows where oh, you're going. Please. No, your, your body is going to be all oh, no. stiff and hard. Oh no. Don't just die. Oh, he's so cold. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. God. She hands them over. 
<laughs> I'm glad we could figure this out. Come on, partner. Craig and I start making our way out of the woods. He turns around and calls back to the twins. Hmm? And tell your dad to stop letting you watch true crime shows. <laughs> 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 You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. With the capybara back with its rightful owner, Craig and I shamble into a nearby diner, exhausted from our adventure. We find ourselves a corner booth and settle in. Oh. That was a tough case, but we cracked it. We're different now. Changed. Did we get in too deep? Hey. It's nothing a hearty brunch can't fix. Whoa. My stomach grumbles. I suddenly realize how big of an appetite I worked up. <clears throat> brunch! Give me brunch! Hmm? I have strong philosophies on brunch. Oh. You see, the first thing you do is you divide your brunches between bougie brunch, the upper class mimosas and eggs benedict brunch, and grimy brunch, the gimme coffee and bacon and cheesy hash browns brunch. There's a time and a place for both, and I think most of life is about figuring out which one you need more. Mm. Whoa, where did River go? <laughs> River? River's Please. gone. You must leave me alone with Arnold. <laughs> He needs my kill. Go to brunch without us. <laughs> Where'd River go to get revenge? <laughs> Have fun at your brunch. Fazio, I guess I shall spend my time brooding with Robbie. <laughs> Do you think they went to brunch and then they left River brooding with Robert <laughs> yeah. on the brooding brunch? <sighs> so what kind of brunch dad are you, Jimbo Paul? Save. We're doing a grimy brunch. Jimbo Paul is obviously a grimy brunch. And look, at, look at this diner. This diner is not bougie brunch. This is grimy brunch. Make it fried and oily and clean the floors with the hose and I'll be happy. Hmm. A fine choice. But wait, aren't you going on a health kick? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <sighs> Got a carbo load? Wait, save. Save. Let's say carbo load. Alright. Nothing like a mountain of cheesy potatoes, O'Brien, to refuel after a run, right, bruh? Right, bud? That's not even remotely how carbo loading works. Oh, no. Shit. Uh. A young waitress passes out menus as Craig situates River into a high chair. Go back. We need to get perfect on all of our dates. We have to. Gotta treat yourself. Are we not dads? And is brunch not a higher calling than a mere diet? Whoa. Yes! Whoa. See, you know what happened? We tried too hard to impress him, but we really, did. we just needed to be true to ourselves. It's true. I think we all learned something here. We did. He, Greg did get the Victoria Chase. <laughs> Judith becomes the master. A young waitress passes out menus as Craig situates River into a high chair. Is that your kid? Oh. You betcha. She's so cute. Hi, you. <laughs> a blip. <laughs> Hey kid, middle school is going to be really tough, but if you can make it through that, you can make it through anything. The waitress walks away after winking at Craig. Oh my god. Craig just gets everyone. Seems like you're the most eligible dad bachelor in town. Oh. Guess so. Anyway, here's the thing about brunch. You don't do business during brunch. Brunch is a time for rest, relaxation, and restoration with those you love. 
And while we're having brunch at a traditionally brunch time, the most important thing to remember is that brunch isn't a time. It's a state of mind. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Fazio, a high chill. Now I can mm -hmm. snipe people easier from my high vantage point. <laughs> if you can't have brunch on your plate, you can always have brunch in your heart. I don't disagree with you. I just don't know if I can match your intensity. Hmm. I'll open your eyes, bro. Just you wait. Oh, open oh. them. Open them yes. wide. Yes. Show me, Craig. <laughs> Craig, my eyes can't open any further. <laughs> Craig, my eyes are literally as far open as they will go. <laughs> Physically. <laughs> we order our food and the waitress, after very blatantly hitting on Craig multiple times, eventually brings us our brunch piece. River munches on cereal right next to us, more or less managing to get it in her mouth. I gotta say, man, it's been really great, excuse me, having you around to hang out with. Things have been so busy with work and fitness and the kids, I just haven't had time to really go out and get to know people. With you here, it's like we're picking up where we left off. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Open your eyes, bro. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Try to close them. <laughs> I know the feeling, man. <clears throat> Moving to a new place could have been really rough for me, especially with Amanda going off to college soon. You're making this a lot easier. Craig smiles at me. Hey. Oh. It feels really good to go on another bro venture with you, dude. Just like old times. For a while, I thought about anything that was bothering me in my life. It was just you and me and... More coffee? I... Oh, uh, no thank you. So, uh, do you like work out? Uh... Y yeah. Mostly calisthenics, but I try to lift as part of the regimen. That's so cool. I've been looking for a workout buddy, you know. Oh, man. Oh, hmm. man. Oh. Uh, I wish I could help you out, but I'm enjoying brunch with my workout bro right now. Ooh, mm. I'm taken. Where's Mary to run interference? That's right. And get all these hot moms for herself. <laughs> I could not remember what her voice was. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm trying to do <laughs> Chloe's mom because we're in a diner. Oh, yeah. Well, if you change your mind... No, I, I try. <laughs> the waitress slides a folded note to Craig and walks away. Craig makes a face as he reluctantly puts it into his pocket. Uh. <laughs> you know me. I've never been to the South and it shows. <laughs> we can't take you anywhere, can we? Le Brip. Oh. It's a blessing and a curse, isn't it? The next time we hang out should be in the middle of the woods where people can't interrupt us. Whoa, Jimbo. Mm. What, what are your thoughts on that? Behind you, a blue-haired girl screams about superpowers. And the cop's partner leaves without him. <laughs> a cockroach crawls into the jukebox and breaks it. <laughs> Whoa, Super Max! <laughs> Yo. I pledge oh. allegiance to Max and the powers for which she stands. <laughs> <laughs> it's a panda with a little keychain on it. <laughs> and also, maybe in some different woods than the ones we where little kids like to vivisect things. Jimbo is so suave with Craig. Yep. <laughs> Craig laughs. Hey. Man, remember all our camping road trips back in the day? Joshua Tree? Yellowstone? That was the best. Oh. 
I like to think Jimbo's voice gets way more dude bro-y around Craig. Yeah. You I know how agree. you know when you hang out with people and you start to sound like them? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. I'd give anything to do it all over again. Should be in the middle of the woods where we can be surrounded by wood. Lots of big hard wood. Oh no. I'll be thick. Thick. Thick branches. Those were my beans. <laughs> Dude, we should do we should do a camping weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, bro. I'm an adult now. I have all these adult responsibilities. I don't think I can just drop everything to go hang out in the woods for a few days, you know? Craig, all you do is coach softball and run your own business. <laughs> if anyone is in a better position to do this, it's probably Jimbo, because we still don't know what he does. But, like... <laughs> You have all the free time in the world. <laughs> Come on, dude. If we plan things right, we can totally do this. Thick wood dildo. <laughs> Go. Craig, don't you ever do anything for yourself? Craig stares into his coffee mug. I just oh, realized no. we put the stupid wine glass on Jimbo Paul. Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> also, oh yeah. Of of course I do. Yeah, like what? Oh. Some sometimes I let myself have one scoop of vanilla ice cream before bed, but only if I didn't meet my calorie intake for the day. Whoa. This is Craig is so sad. I know. We have to let Craig live his best life. We have to. I don't know. And, and sometimes I let myself hit the snooze alarm, but only once. Jimbo const can constantly has an empty wine glass on his shoulder. Mary is always here with us watching over. <laughs> Craig hasn't mentioned it because he's trying to be nice. <laughs> oh, no, One Bear, the wine glass isn't in the game. It's actually because um, today we got made um, Twitch affiliates, mm -hmm. which means we can have, like, I guess it's, like, technically, like, a little tip jar where you yeah. put uh, just the bit. You can, just the bit. Just, just the bit. Just the Twitch bit. A little Twitch bit. And also, I think you can subscribe to our channel now, right? Yeah. It's, like, it's like you can do the subscribe thing. And we tried to make an emote, but apparently it has to go through Twitch approval. We made a rainbow! Gonna, yeah, it's like a rainbow, super gay emote. But, like, yeah, we it but, has but, to go through, like, four weeks or something of, of validation. Getting, yeah, getting approved by Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is, so like... eventually that We're not happen. sure if this rainbow's allowed. <laughs> but, yeah, it's for, um... It's for the affiliate It's for thing. the affiliate thing. And we made it a wine glass in I know. honor of in Mary. In honor of Mary. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't even expect it. I got the email, and I was like, what's an affiliate? And then Melissa's like, dude, that's pretty sweet. And then she's like, you can put a wine glass. And I was like, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, are we ready? Yeah, let's okay. go. Dude. You gotta relax sometime or it's gonna kill you. Oh, yeah. We have to we have to wait 24 hours because, before we can upload them on YouTube. Yeah. But I've kind of been slacking on the last couple, so it's, it's like kind of just like I'm lazy. We can just <laughs> pretend it's because I'm lazy and not because we are now contractually obligated. <laughs> did you did you already beat this? No. Oh. What do you mean? This, oh, oh, wait, yeah. The, the game. I don't, the game that we're playing. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Whoa. Dude, you gotta relax sometime or it's gonna kill you. Please come camping with me. It'd be so fun, bro. Hmm? I guess I could get Smashly to take the kids for the weekend. I love that his ex wife's name is smashly yeah like i want to date smashly <laughs> where is my smashly dating simulator <laughs> oh what do you craig couldn't take care of you 
Oh, Smashly, little do you know. <laughs> oh. I'll, th I'll think about it. Hmm. We still need to play Tales of the Borderlands. Oh, yeah, that's right. Smashly Mary, yes. We finish our brunches and head back to the cul-de-sac. I want to smash Smashly. <laughs> smash me, Smashly. Oh. By the way, great job keeping up today. It seems like you're already making a lot of progress. Huh, I'm probably going to need a little bit of recovery time after this. Tell the girls I said hello. Bro. I will. See you, protective. I say goodbye to Craig and step inside. God, I'm ready for a shower, a gallon of water, and a nap. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. I bet Amanda's still asleep. Oh. I crack open her door to find her still in bed, sleepily scrolling through her phone. Morning. Afternoon, actually. Mm. Right. How was brunch? <laughs> brunch? The brunch. I literally do, <laughs> Peanut. You don't even know. So I think I, I think there's something seriously wrong with me because like and your ability to and my ability remember. to remember things because like I'll be like oh Mariah do you have my keys and Mariah will be like yes and then like fucking a minute later I'll be like oh Mariah do you have my keys and she'll be like dude I just literally fucking answered like you just fucking asked you've that you've done that to me too I don't like you you will literally I don't remember you literally shit. respond like you'll ask me a question and then I'll answer. And then you'll ask me the same exact question again, literally one second later. <laughs> like, there is right. no break. You ask me this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, like, I am I think I'm really just prepping you for when I'm old and have dementia. <laughs> it's going to happen. I, like, me and you are going to be sitting in the retirement home, and I'm going to be like, oh, are we having jello again? <laughs> and you'll be like, fucking April. Yes, they said lime jello like eight times. And I'll be like, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> and then Mariah's going to be too busy like being the president. Yeah. Like, Mar Mariah's like, I am the emperor of the Mariah's world. like, that's at the top of the hill. <laughs> I'm walking 18 dogs. <laughs> and I ran to the top of the hill. Mariah, you're 105 and still going. <laughs> God, um, yeah, I need to write. Sometimes lists are good. <laughs> Sometimes lists benefit others. <laughs> I'm gonna. I. I. I promise. But I've told you to it, make a wish list on Steam. Think like of it this five hundred times. Think of it this way. No, we don't need a wish list. We already have these games. We. I just forget that we no, have no, them. No, I know. To but play like, them for games that we want to play. Why like, would you make a wish list? You add them to the wish list, and then Steam tells you when they're on sale. That's fucking dumb. Why don't I just write, like, oh, play this game? Because then you don't get a notification when it's on sale. Then you get it for cheap. We already own the game. No, I'm talking about games in the future. Well, I am not talking. No, we're like, talking about how I literally forget that uh, we have a game. And then I am remembered, and I'm like a fucking dog. Like, you know, or, you know how babies have... Digby has a better memory do you than know, you. Do you know how babies don't have object permanence? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, when, when like, a, a fucking, um, like, when a, when a person hides their face and the baby's like, fuck, where did they go? That's how I feel all the time. I mean, to be fair... You still don't know how to attach post-its to Digby. I need like memento. Like <laughs> I need to take a Polaroid photo of Tales of the Borderlands, and then I'll just be like, like sitting by myself, and I'll be like, "Tales of the Borderlands." <laughs> I don't even think you'd be able to like get home on your own if you drove to like huh? somewhere other than Taco Melissa, Bell. Melissa, dangerous writes lists in multicolored sharpies and pens to make them fun. Aww, I think we should do that cute. on your face. Yes, <laughs> double good idea. <laughs> Okay, all right, shut up. You're, you're distracting me, Melissa. It was good. We got kind of sidetracked because we had to travel into the depths of Maple Bay's dark underbelly to find a toy river dropped. But, you know, I actually feel pretty gr- ah. My legs give out. Oh, shit. 
I find myself on the floor of the hallway. <laughs> I've got you in my sights. They move behind a pillar. They have vanished forever. I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. You take your time getting up. Yes. Yeah. What's up, baby? We only scored a little on baby. Whoa, we got equal points, daddy. Man, equal points, amazing. dad. Oh just like back my. In college. I've missed you, dude. Jimbo Paul died in the name of the D. <laughs> Welcome. You've got that. Oh, let's save. Shall we do one more date? Let's do one more date. Because it's like 10. Yeah. So let's go for it. <laughs> River, ult is ready. They cover their face with their hands. Well, I guess I cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Matt. There we go. Ooh, look at him. Oh. That smashes what him. He, what if he makes you watch a movie with subtitles? Good night, one bear. Good night. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, man. Great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding, and I see Matt's response. Hey, dude. I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? I think for a moment. What's a Sound Garden? Uh, it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Mm. Oh, man. I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Whoa. I'm Jimbo in this moment. <laughs> you are. <laughs> in this specific moment. <laughs> you probably wouldn't even know how to get home if you went anywhere besides, like, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> You do, though. You need help getting I home. I need help. When we go home from... Re like, we haven't changed areas... No. ...in, like, six years. We haven't. It no. has literally been, like, six years. Did I tell you about the time when when I got lost and started drive? Like, it, we went, it was from, like, a mall thing. I just had, like, dinner with Mariah when we were kind of, like, in the beginnings of dating... And I was going, driving back to school, and I got lost, and I started driving down a dark, foggy, one-road path until the road ended, and I was like, I feel like this isn't right. <laughs> and so I had to drive all the way back, and I thought I was going to die, and then I found the way I I turned right <laughs> instead of left, and apparently it took me to an apocalyptic hellscape. <laughs> We don't acknowledge Melissa roasting <laughs> April. It's unethical. <laughs> anyway, give April a microchip. <laughs> I log off of Dad Book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrack decades over memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh, God, I had a mullet back then. Oh, Jimbo. God, I thought it was cool. Oh, God, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prong rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, 
What are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door. Just getting home from school. Huh. <laughs> Good job, Baku. Anyway, what's up? Mm? Amanda, how do I be cool? Mm? Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. Oh. <laughs> Having a, a spatial map of places helps with memory. <laughs> no, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Ugh. Yeah, you have. You took me to one once when I was 12, remember? Wait, I thought Jimbo Paul had a ska band. Yeah. The ska Manifesto. That's right. Yeah, it's true. That's right. I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god, I tried so hard to forget. Yeah. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Hmm. Dad, it was so much more than that and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Mm. Oh my, oh. Amanda shipped the Backstreet Boys. Oh no. She was like, these bad boys are gonna get... Freaky. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, you should be all set for the concert. If you remember that, just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's a smaller place. And I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Mm hmm? Like, DIY gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Mm. Are they post-punk? Proto-punk? C-punk? Jeremy punk? Uh, what's Jeremy punk? <laughs> I made the one up to see if I could get away with it. Uh -huh. Oh, look at her finger guns! Uh -huh. And her yellow nail polish! That's cute. I love her. Eh? Hmm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're Canadian punk. Huh. Sorry, I'm telling Mariah to get her own food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of a Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Hmm. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Huh. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. Hey. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. <clears throat> That's it? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're going to jump into the mosh pit. Shaka bra. Oh. Ready for the mosh pit. Or anything. We need to get Jimbo a flannel. Jimbo needs... Oh, Jimbo. Jimbo, you look just like Rachel Amber. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a Set Your Goals hoodie offers to buy you merch... Don't accept it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he tries to take you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Is that you? What? What? Going to a nice restaurant and then forgetting your wallet. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would never, ever do that. What? Yeah. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert-appropriate attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Ooh. Uh, save. I would be honest. 
I feel like I should. We should be honest with him. All right, let's 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 be honest. Oh man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everyone holds signs and screams and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Glitter! I fucking love glitter. <laughs> I feel like we already talked about this, but I still want to, like... I just want to make sure everyone knows how strong my stance is on the pro-glitter front. It's very strong. It's a you, very... You poured it all over your sister. I did. And also, I got um, those glittery fucking bath bombs from Lush. And then I was covered in glitter. It's amazing. I've only used one bath bomb, and it was the frozen one. The frozen one's amazing. Yeah. It was like Not only because it it's like glitter. Elsa, but I snort glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a lie. <laughs> Stay strong. Hey. But dude, I gotta take you to a first... I get to, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Jimbo Paul, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Hey. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but it can also describe a genre of music nobody wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine, and I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my morality. When were the good years? Oh, sorry, sorry. God damn sorry. it! It's fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to click. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely the one who snorts glitter. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's real. Matt, you made it. I don't what? know who's talking yet. Oh, a younger kid runs up and high-fives Matt. Hmm. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high-five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Oh. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh, the mini game is hard. Oh. Do not fuck this up. This is where I shine. Fucking things up. <gasps> a couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Hey, yeah. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goes hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Oh, is it like everybody thinks Matt's so cool, but he's so insecure. He's not sure of himself. It's true. He's like Craig, but without the confidence. Yes. Hey. Seems like you're a pretty popular guy out here. Imagine Jimbo Paul with a mullet. No. He had one. I don't believe he that. said that. That's a lie. He said he had one. People I haven't seen a cool. picture. I haven't seen a picture. It's not real. Hey, Melissa's yeah. full first name is Melissano. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Who's a good puppy? Oh, I love this puppy. Mm. Hello. I love you. You want to come sit? Oh. You want to come sit? Come on. You want to? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're a good puppy. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Oh. Uh-oh. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Hmm. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Do you ever have that at the dentist? Where, what? Like, you don't know where to put your tongue because they keep operating and poking it. Have you ever had to have a tongue house? Tongue house? Like, when I had my braces and when they were doing, like, imprints of my teeth, there's this fucking, like, thing that they put in your mouth that cages your tongue. And so it kind of feels like you're swallowing your tongue, and it's, like, the worst. Ugh. It's not good. I don't like that. No, I did not like that. Keep going. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? Yeah, sounds great. See? Well... I have known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Aww. Oh, Jimbo! Aww, Jimbo! Tongue BDSM. Just you wait. Hey. We grab our drinks. Who's your good puppy? This fiend seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> ha! Let's check out the merch. I like Matt. He's uh -huh. very kind. Yes. Well, look at this boy. Whoa, Who yeah. are you? Oh, so much Who's, green. Who is this mermaid? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up! Get your merch here! I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrements a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I gesture to myself, my face, my face flushing red. Yes, you! You look like a fella who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long-playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit? Tally-ho, good sir. <laughs> Say tally-ho, good sir. Oh, my God. Well, see here, fine chop keep. Your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest and suspicion in equal parts. How can I, a consumer of the finer goods in life, trust your wares to be true of spirit? A fine... A fine question from a discerning patron. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. <laughs> Matt liked that. I know, Matt liked how we handled him. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Hey! Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Oh. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to buy, if you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. <laughs> and have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hmm. That's Jimbo Paul. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Jimbo Paul cool? Hmm. Matt eyes me. I eye him back. Hmm. He cracks a smile. Hey. Yeah. P 
Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. Whoa. Whoa. We're so cool. You're so fresh. We are so fresh. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people who you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Hey. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? Hey. You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know, vacant veil vale would have slayed. <laughs> Mostly once you actually start making music instead of just printing a bunch of band t-shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Hey. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Oh. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung on his back. Hmm. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Hmm. Oh no, these guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks! I put the earplugs in, and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Hey. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? Probably. Ask again. I mean, sure, yeah. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Drop it. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes, 20, a year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo, they promise it was part of the act and he was carried off stage crying. <laughs> That's me. That is you. Hmm. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Hey. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just, I have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They're being real about that. Hey. Let's grab another beer. Then and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. Oh no, do not lose Matt. Oh. But there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert growers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-something. Save. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Is it? This is me, literally. Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if the terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Hey. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew. I really got nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back toward the stage. I feel myself blushing a little. 
<laughs> my husband come home from the war. <laughs> <laughs> Um, go. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Hey. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Hey. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolutely favorite. It's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music. Just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Oh! Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I'll make sure you save. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching her beauty videos in the bathroom. She actually had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom, finally. But it's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? We gotta do this. Don't fuck this up. How do I do this? Uh, everyone, everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta find him before I get trampled by these rowdy youths. Go. Find that dad. Uh, use your use your arrow keys. Oh wow. Ah, why? This is hard. Look out! Find Matt. Go to him. Also, we're not, that's not Jimbo Paul. Get that heart, get the heart. Oh. Get the heart. Ew, Jesus. Get the, get the heart. They pushed me away. Oh. Oh my God, they're pushing me around. Oh, you gotta grab all the hearts. Grab that heart. You're doing pretty good. Oh. Oh, they, they have like I little think you, moments I think they you just have, chase ah, me. Get that heart, get that they, heart. They chase me. Get that heart. Yes. Get that heart, get that heart. Oh, shit. I think you have to stay on the tiles. Oh. You can't, you can't go off the edge, no, dude. No, it pushed me, it pushes me backwards. You try. That's weird. We have to reload, dude. Uh, it pushes me backwards. You need Melissa? It does. You need to stop fucking this up. You gotta be careful not to go off the edge. That's a fake Jimbo. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Jimbo Paul looks really good, though. Yeah, he does. Like, I don't want to brag dad. about our dad creating skills, but, like, I feel like Jimbo Paul is the best dad. You have already, like, lost half your health. How? No, I don't know. <laughs> they, this is impossible, dude. Melissa, you did so well the first time. I don't... There's no way to know where they're gonna go. Get the heart, get the heart. No. Look at they, they, they run after you. You just... You gotta be on top of it. Get the heart. You gotta stop going by the edges, dude. That's how you died. There, that that guy. The heart! Oh shit, Digby, you scared the shit out of me. Uh-oh. Get that heart, get that heart. Hell yeah. My father tucked her love wizard. Understandable, Peanut. I feel like everybody has a special place in their heart for their first dad. No, no! Oh, oh god, god damn it, Melissa! They pushed me! Melissa's fucking up our date with you Matt. Tried. What the fuck are you doing? Oh man? my god, babe, you look so fucking gay. Are you looking at this? Um, I mean. With her fucking snapback? How? Oh, bitch, please, how many snapbacks do you own? 
all of them, but I look cool. Yeah, Wait, why are you so far back? What do you mean so far back? Oh, never mind. Alright, let's do this. Is Melissa sucking at the game? She's already lost twice. Wow. That's Find what I that dad. What kind of drink do you have? A Sprite. We got perfect dates with Craig. I decided Craig is my second favorite daddy. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I believe in you, Melissa. Is this a new game or? No, no it's Dream daddy, daddy, but it's a mini game. No, I meant is it a mini Same game? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. Um, we found out that we didn't need to like go back. <laughs> Understandable, Apple. A lot of hats make my head hurt because my head is so fucking big. <laughs> like. Did you like my gay living room Halloween decorations? Yes, it was so cute, honey. Hello, dog. How was your roller derby thing? Good. Did you play roller derby or was it just a thing? I was. They did a, um... Oh no, Mayo! It was an all-week meeting and then a scrimmage. Uh -huh. But one of my shoulders was kind of sore. Uh-huh. And since I have a game on Saturday, I didn't want to, like, make it worse. Why is your shoulder sore? Just be because I've been... Excellent. From all that hardcore masturbating? <laughs> Bitch, I've been walking big-ass dogs. <laughs> no, it's actually, I just think I slept on it weird. You know when you just, like, sleep on your back weird? Yeah, that's understandable. Vendetta fucked up her ankle, though. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, hot glue gun's the worst. Oh, God, I've burned myself on hot glue gun so many times. The goo gun? I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot. Well, I guess I should keep look. I'm bumped into from behind, and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. What do they call that? Ska thing? Where you run in a circle? Skanking? Skanking. That's it. Go. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth shoulders me himself, or shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. We're in the mosh pit, Shaka, bro. An Ew. ocean of youths? Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. Oh no, is Matt gonna catch me? That's it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of counterculture. Youths! <laughs> Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. Oh. I it wasn't a hand, it was a dick. <laughs> I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up onto my feet. <clears throat> oh. oh! So many eggplants. You're wild, dude! Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into yous left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. <laughs> I didn't know you messed with the pit. Hey. Me neither. Wow. You're such a nerdy dad. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. Did I ever tell you about the time I went crowd surfing at a Less Than Jake concert in college? Oh my, oh my god. god. It was fun. Of course you did. I got up on stage with Dropkick Murphys. Of course Not you like did. Not like just me. There's like a specific song where they let people up on stage. But I was close enough to the front that I got up. I'm so proud of you, Mariah. <laughs> the song ends and the pit finally dissipates. steel-toed combat boots. Oh well, my god. You have to wear steel-toed boots when you go to a concert. Uh, yeah, otherwise your feet get stepped on like crazy. Peanut found dead in Miami. 
The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, let's retreat. We'll show those kids how it's done another day. Hey. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. Broccoli, but don't cry. With the concert <laughs> over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Wait, was that the name of the song? No, broccoli. Well, because Mayo's hungry and wants to know what to eat. And oh, I, oh, and we were making fun of Melissa at Gaffney. And I had recently told the story of someone crying. It's a valid reason to cry. After eating a, a broccoli. It's a valid reason. Like a small child. It's valid. Sobbing tears falling into the broccoli beef. Did you already read this? With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. <clears throat> hey! Hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say goodbye to a couple people. Cheesy broccoli with a sight of tears. I hang outside the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Aww. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at Aww. earlier. What a sweet boy! He's the only one who's given us anything, minus Damien. <laughs> This is how you win Jimbo. This is how you win Jimbo's you love. Buy stuff. Monetary affection. <laughs> Whoa, thanks, man. Hey, yeah. Uh... Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. Hey, yeah. Uh... And I mean, anyone who tears up that who tears it up that hard the first time back to a concert deserves a reward. Um um I'm never taking this off. Well, Robert paid for a round of drinks, but then we also had to pay for a round of drinks. Yeah. Hugo, I guess, got us into an aquarium for free, but then we had to, like, fight penguins. Yeah. And we also lost that money to the kid who we had to bribe. Yeah. We, we actually lost money on Hugo's date. Um, Damien gave us a flower, I think, and a handwritten letter. That's right. Um... Um... I guess technically we did see a movie for free with Robert. Because we broke true. in. Yeah. You're being too cute Robert right knows now. what's up. Turns out Jimbo Paw has no head. job and is just looking for a sugar daddy. Honey, look, mm -hmm. you're being so cute, but I know it's just because he smells my fucking food. He just one hamburger. Um, I'm never taking this off. Wait, did you save it? No, I'll save it again. It's okay, I love you, I love you. I will continually wear it until it is tattered and a little smelly so I can truly embody punk fashion. Hey, Matt. Oh. Hey, it's Pup. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, they do look like a ska band. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. Oh. Why are they British? I don't know. They look like probably. Or no. wait, what do Canadian people sound like? A. A. I'm oh, don't you know? I'm so glad you could make it. You guys put on a great show, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is like my Canadian accent. It's pretty good, babe. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks, eh? Hey. Well, see you around. Hey, love you. I'm going to go to him. Lo love you. Love you. Have fun boning some dad. I will bone a dad. I'll be back. Wait, you know Pup? Hey. Oh, yeah. Met him a couple times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Oh! Come on, let's grab some diner food. I suddenly realized just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. We gotta go to Two Whales. <laughs> you want a waffle? Or pink. Wait, what is it? Waffle or pancakes? Uh, no, it. Uh, yeah, waffle or pancakes. Yeah. Matt and I walk. Oh, it's the diner. She didn't leave the door open, did she? No. No. Okay. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hey. So there I am in the pit, trying to explain to the face tattoo guy 
that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering toward me and there's nowhere to go. Red seems like a weird color to have a tattoo for. Actually, it looks kind of cool. I feel like it looks cool at first, but like it seems like it would fade. Like, really fast. Um... It looks like this. It looks pretty cool. Oh, shit. That does look cool. Yeah, red ink tattoos look pretty cool. Oh. It looks bloody. Well, th I think that is actually blood. <laughs> this is like the... This is the finished ones. Yeah. He's lumbering toward me and there's nowhere to go. Hey. It looks cool to you because it's the color of blood. <laughs> It's the end for me, right? Then, out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. And just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> that sounds like the funniest image. I know. <laughs> Who will help me carry his body? Hey. Bought him a beer afterward, and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Hey. Yeah, man. It just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. Betrayal by pussy. <laughs> so, how did you get to see all those amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel around all the states. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we were poor, and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of these people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people. Especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everyone loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out wherever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey! Thanks. A single parents just really have to look out for each other. <laughs> River's in the corner like, Is that Jimbo Paul? With Matt? No one cheats on my Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, how's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Hey. It'll be loud, and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. It's nothing. I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Drums. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> hmm. I am trying to be supportive of Carmen Sita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. When Carmen Sita tries to rebel, but you're too supportive. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hey. Like what? Ooh. Ooh. Probably big budget remakes of foreign films because he likes any movies with subtitles. Yeah. Reading subtil subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. I did not just lie about liking subtitles for him to not give me eggplants. <laughs> the breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Hey. Oh. Maybe. Well, let's let's just try it. Well, I mean, he hasn't given us anything. Yeah, so let's try it. Oh, you mean try consumerism? Yeah. Oh. You made it sound like we weren't going back. Oh, the past is in the past. Yeah. I'm never going, you know, the song. 
That's a good one. Thank you. It's a classic. The past is in the past. You'll never be Idina. Shut up. Go. Do it. Hey, his glasses are gone. Oh. Why do we gotta get up early in the day after Thanksgiving and line up to buy things? Why can't we, like, share things? Hmm. Oh, his glasses are back. Whoa. Comrade, you're speaking of dangerous things here. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plate. I don't think. for that. Let's try the last one. All right, we might as well. Fashion. You can always fly in the face of the fashion industry. That's a good anti-establishment option. Matt gestures to my outfit. <laughs> oh, Whoa! I, like I think you. I think you've got that one covered, dude. Whoa, that was like in front of him. I <laughs> know it was. Shit. I'm hurt. I thought I was among friends. <laughs> I feel as though it should be the subtitle one because that specifically took me remembering his dad book profile. <laughs> and you remembering something is a big deal. I, it was a big fucking deal that I, re one, remembered it. Two, actively defended movies with subtitles. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I don't, I mean, like, I don't. I understand the purpose of subtitles, and I love the fact that the majority of dubs are really bad, but I, in the sense that it's like, that's why you watch the subtitle version. Mm. But yes. if I could keep the quality and not have to read, it would be amazing. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging in our plates for the greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Hey. Man. Hey. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. <laughs> the issue is you lied for that D instead of being true for, to yourself and getting roasted. <laughs> I understand that that went... I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. I feel like Jimbo Paul is very fashion forward. Look at his kitty shirt. Yeah, he is. Hey, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just... I don't know... Hmm. I I get really nervous sometimes uh, talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. No, that's understandable, Kyle. Yeah, I feel like watching things with subtitles is pretty. It's like, standard. It's helpful. Yeah. I just I just end up reading the subtitles and I end up missing like the show. Yeah. Because April just can't pay attention. I can't to more focus than one thing <laughs> I can't. on the screen. I can't. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert, and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Jimbo hey. Paul, you're an ambivert. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that. I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac. Back to our respective houses. Hey. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> ha! You and me both. Mm. I, uh, I don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. Alright, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. She, she thinks I'm, I'm cute! cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look! Matt called me cool! <laughs> You're so good at conversation, your eye contact is impeccable. <laughs> I walk into my house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out of her room. Hmm. Hey, Pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool! Hmm. You don't say. Whoa. Amanda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. Yeah. 
Blind teaching the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which of us just tore it up in the pit at a punk show, and which of us spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. All right. That was powerful. That, ooh, look at how handsome he is up close. Oh, we got equal dad and dad. Um, what? I just can't Excuse? What did, what happened? What? What? What did we miss? What, excuse me? Why is that not an S? What? Were we not, were, were we not cool enough? What did you do? It better not be an option before the mini game. Because if I have to play that mini game again. Melissa, what the fuck? What happened? Now we have to go to bed with an A? This is We have this to leave it rude. We have to leave it on a A cliffhanger. I the the hottest coolest dad and we only get an A? What? How did we only get an A? I don't know what happened. <laughs> what what did we do? Oh my god. Ah. Uh. What do we do? Did we not make enough band puns? What a, I A is for ass. <laughs> we're we're nuts not cool. How? What happened? How did we What? <laughs> oh god. I can't think of any what could we have done? Maybe we could have gotten you fucked up the mini game. What? Probably. No. It's probably the t-shirt stall, honestly. We didn't get any hearts for that. Oh shit. We weren't nice enough to Pablo. Well, no, he's yeah, he's probably wanted like a more chill response instead of like instead of like joking back at him. God damn it. All right. Okay. Next time, next time we finish Matt. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to play that mini game I again. I mean, welcome. I mean, is it you bad that we bad. got an A? Like, could we theoretically still get? We have to get an S. Okay. We can't not. <laughs> no, get an we S. must S. We have to get an S. All right. I'll just save just so we have that. But fuck, we're not gonna use it. All right. All right. It's time for bed. Yes. I can't believe we stayed up this oh late my God. to get an A. This is rude. This is so rude. This is horrible. This I, feels bad. This is not good. This feels... It feels like we're, we weren't a good dad. We weren't. Um, We could still probably get the good ending for him, though. So that's good. The next, but we're going to go back and get an S. Well, okay. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. We're going to do it. Obviously. Um... <clears throat> Maybe tomorrow? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. If not tomorrow, maybe, maybe, maybe Friday? No. Maybe Monday. Monday? Yeah, sure. Let's try Monday. All right. Are we agreed? Yes. Monday? Yes. An S. An S. For Matt. Matt Monday. Not an A. An not a Monday. On a Monday. Des. No. Oh, uh, not a mon. No. Do you know what this fucking was? This is River. River. River was like, you shall not cheat on my father. <laughs> I see you with Matt the cool dad. Oh. Soon your leg will be chopped off like Arnold's. <laughs> I chop. I chop off your leg. Oh. I literally bear. That's me. That was my family growing up. It's like, what? You got an A? Why don't you get an A plus? Jesus. 
also, are you going to nursing school? Because every Filipino goes to nursing school. <laughs> My grandma tried to get me to be a nurse or to join the Navy. <laughs> like, the whole time. Of course. She's like, why don't you join the Navy? Thanks for coming, everybody. I'm sorry that somebody had to ruin Matt's Excuse date. Excuse you. Someone named Melissa. Somebody was <laughs> me in a minor that. key. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Good night. <laughs>